Dave LaDuc is one of the most dangerous fighters in the world. The current undefeated openweight world champion in the brutal sport of Uthway, an incredibly violent fighting style where headbutts are allowed and fighters don't wear gloves. Laduke is the first non-Burmese person to dominate the sport. He's famous for going above and beyond expectations and demanding respect in this extremely competitive sport. Dave Laduke has inspired millions with his dedication and passion in the Thwe. And as a vegan of two years, he continues to inspire by smashing stereotypes and showing compassion for animals with veganism. Please join me in welcoming Dave LaDuke, the king of Fathwe, to the channel. There we go. How's that for an intro? That was cool, man. <laughs> that's, that's amazing. Thank you for that. No, thanks for being here, man. It's awesome to have you here. I feel like I've been watching you and, and seeing what you've been up to and learning about fighting the Thwe and, and, and you know, you're seeing your passion for veganism for a while. So it's great to finally have you here to elaborate on on, on you know what you're all about yeah. and and you know talk about um talk about you and your story man so thank you so much for being here it's very it's great that sometimes our, our paths can cross when you know people like-minded people uh, uh tend to to unite and it's funny because actually my sport literally is you know I, i'm allowed to do headbutts and your name is you know rams yeah and rams <laughs> <make it. laughs> so it's kind of i just thought about this right now like you're, you're basically uh a good sports person for my sport but yeah uh, yeah it's my pleasure to be here man i've been uh, it's my first uh, my first uh, interview uh, about vegan i did articles with plant based news uh, but like it's my first interview so uh, let's let's fucking do this awesome man yeah brilliant i'm really excited for this so so as i said in the intro you're known as one of the most dangerous fighters in the world and arguably the most violent fighting style in the world like i've been watching yeah. some of your fights and getting into what this is all about so before we get into veganism for many people here watching uh, they they will never even have heard of the they, they may not mm -hmm. even know what it is like i've you know mm -hmm. said king of the that's your that's your title but uh, me personally when i first read that i thought is this a country that i've not heard of like, oh, are you okay. actually the king of a country or something okay, so okay. maybe that's like let's let's explain what that is <laughs> yeah. Yeah. how would you explain the way for somebody who's never heard of it before like what, what how would you uh, describe okay. it so so basically let way is the it's the name of a of a Full contact sport from Myanmar. People may, may know Myanmar as Burma back in the days. It was a, a very secluded, shadowed country in the world. Uh, about 55 million people. You know, in Canada where I'm born, we're 35 million. Uh, Myanmar is, you know, double that. And they are. Uh, it, it's an extremely poor country, very contrastual country. There's also very rich people, billionaires, but it's very poor and it's and they take a lot of pride in their extremely uh, hard sport at uh, 2000 years old uh, like they've been fighting with me about Thailand for centuries for millennia and um, maybe some people may know Muay Thai uh, which is basically the national sport of Thailand but the neighboring country of Thailand is Myanmar and Myanmar have uh, an even older sport because uh, again Muay Thai is about you know 300 years old or something Letway uh, is uh, is two thousand years old, and in uh, contrary to other sports like kickboxing, Muay Thai boxing, you know they use gloves. In Letway, you don't use gloves, so it's bare knuckle, no gloves. Uh, you know you put the wraps just to just to, to, to look cool, and and it adds certain, uh, like Street Fighter. Like I played uh, back in the days, I played I played uh, you know Street Fighter on Super Nintendo. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's kind of the look. And uh, you can do headbutts, which is that's why it's considered the most brutal sport because it's the last remaining sport where you can use your head as a weapon, which is a natural, a, a natural. Uh, you know, we're born with a skull, we're born with our. So um, it's it's uh, it's important to know how to defend yourself. Even when I when I teach women, sometimes in, in, uh, in back in the days, I was telling them, look, you might not be able to out wrestle a man if ever you're in a self defense um, situation, but you can, you know, headbutt uh, the nose. Again, I'm. Uh, my sport. This is a sport I do, but in real life, I'm an, an extremely non-violent person. Uh, so much that I, uh, I, um, I fell in love with the vegan philosophy. You know, that's that's my life mission. But yeah, just, just to let you know, yeah. Litwe is uh, is uh, you know, headbutts allowed, elbows, knees. Uh, very, very. It's a professional sport. So before we go even deeper than this, I already have a lot of, uh, I guess, haters that say. 
well, Dave, you're you're a vegan. How come you you like to fight, right? How how come you like even my you know my my family was like, well, you 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 headbutt people. I'm like, whoa, whoa, wait a minute. It's a professional sport. I'm consensual. Yeah. I'm training. I'm getting paid. We're both getting paid. We're both consensual. And at the end, I don't fucking slit his throat. I don't go. Yeah. I don't put him in a fucking gas chamber. You know what I mean? Like we're consensual. While in animals, they don't have the choice. They're basically breed with a breed it into existence with a with a death sentence on their head. Like so, don't even fucking dare to compare a professional sport with slaughtering innocent sentient animals. So that's my. Uh, as you can see, Dave, uh, I'm um, I'm very uh, pissed off. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, Like, like I was speaking with Joey Carstrom the other day, he said, well, it's good because a, a, a pissed off activist, an angry activist is a good activist. So I'm entering a part of my life right now. I would have no problem stop, stop fighting right now to dedicate my life to veganism. Um, as uh, as uh, extremist as I could sound, I think it's not at all. You know, we it's could, not, we could, it's, it's because I'm, I'm way deeper into this. I'm only two years into, into veganism, Dave, but. I truly believe that human bettering starts with being able to to be uh, you know and not slaughtering animals. Like uh, Leo Leo Tolstoy, uh, the, the Russian uh, philosopher, once said, "He's like, mm -hmm. as long as we're going to have slaughterhouses, we're going to have battlefields. So uh, if we're not able to be peaceful with innocent animals, how the hell are we going to be able able to be peaceful together?" Definitely, I'd like the, with. The violence you just described in the sport, and obviously that's nothing, like, you're 100% right, obviously it's nothing, no comparison to the violence that animals go through, not even a scratch on that, it's not even anywhere near that, but I can see why people would be surprised, right? That you're yeah. that you are a vegan, that you go into a ring, that you you know you do go and you fucking headbutt people in the yeah. face. Like you know, the aim is to knock them out. The aim is to yeah. obviously you're getting paid for it. It's not like they're a victim or something. The word but, it's consensual. You know, the word consen is exactly, consensual. exactly. Do you find that they're surprised though? I mean, do people people maybe that don't know you're vegan and then they see you fight or or, or you know they mm -hmm. learn about you? And did you have you ever surprised someone by saying you know oh yeah and by the way I'm a vegan? Well, like, how do people react when you when you tell them? Good point, but I, I think everybody is. Uh, nobody expected that. I, uh, when I when I made a few posts, uh, nobody expected that. But um, I'm always I've always been okay to being the black sheep. I have uh, I, all my life. I was always uh, the controversial guy. Like I was all my life like to be different. So for me, it's not at all. I don't care to shock people. Um, to, but to a certain degree, if you look at violence itself, there's more death and concussions in football, American football, because yeah, of slam. Course, yeah. You know what I mean? like a ram, you know, they slam yeah. like your head. So, so, so again, at the end of the day, it's about, it's a sport. It's, uh, you know, if you look at hockey, so, so a, a hockey player can be vegan, right? But not a, like, like they fight in hockey too. Like it doesn't matter. It, the, the whole key word here is consent. And mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so that's what it is. But yeah, I, you're right. I guess I get a lot of surprises and uh, I think it, it's good to have, uh, to, to have that element of surprise because it, it kind of breaks down stereotypes. Yeah. Yeah, I, I can I can I can see how it could how you doing this and then being vegan could surprise people because even I surprised people when you know people would meet me in, you know, in day to day life and just the way I am, it's not I, I am also kind of like I, I see like maybe a black sheep in mm. black sheep in veganism. I don't know if you would say that. Like someone yeah. you don't expect to be vegan because we don't fit a stereotype. Like, and this is the thing. Vegans don't fit into one little tiny group of people. We're not all tree huggers and hippies. You know, exactly. there are vegans that like to beat the shit out of people for for money, right? For sport, for mm -hmm. professional. There are people that, you know, like you said, do other kinds of aggressive sports that wouldn't yeah. traditionally be associated with being a vegan. But this is the, po the point. It's breaking that stereotype that there is no stereotype. There shouldn't be a stereotype of a vegan. You know, anyone, anyone can change and, and yeah. you know, decide to be good for the animals no matter no matter what they're doing in, in, in their mm. personal lives, right? And it's been two years now for you, right? Two, I, mean, I, two think, I, I think I, I, uh, the, 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 the actual exact date, it's actually 1.5. I'm actually at uh, okay. a year and a half yet. So it's, I, I started, uh, we started being vegan on the 1st of January, 2009. So okay. I guess uh, 20, uh, yeah, I think 20, I'm not sure, yeah, 2020, yeah, exactly. So a year and a half. Um, yeah. After watching Game Changers, while I was uh, in Cyprus, I remember uh, like it was yesterday. Um, yeah. And uh, after that, we're like, man. So again, I think at first, I've I've seen some cruelty 
it was hard to renew and that's something that might help a lot of people i've been exposed to cruelty and videos and stuff like that uh, i hadn't watched earthlings at the time for those who didn't see earthlings from uh, with joe in phoenix i suggest you watch it it's free on youtube um it, but again we have to understand that we've been lied to all our life we've been con in indoctrinated to see animals as objects and to not make the connection with the actual piece of meat and the animal so for me um I think what made the change, uh, Game Changers was not uh, proning any ethical stuff. It was proning health. So I, I would have yeah. to say that my first initial change was a self, a selfish uh, reason. It was for self. I wanted to, I wanted to have my well-being. So what was, what was, um, was really strong for me was the health, uh, the health aspect. So I said, okay, I want to be healthier. Well, I, I, get, I, I don't think there's a, that's another philosophy debate. I don't think there's anything. Uh, selfless in this world there's no there's no selfless mm. act in this world I agree. Uh, so I, you know and uh, that's another debate but i i started and after that i uh, dave i started to renew with my uh my human compassion and as time went by i'm like shit okay um there's a deeper issue here like there's something that we've been lied to there's you know the, the fact that we're that we're, we're artificially breeding cows, we're kidnapping their kids, we're stealing their meals, we're killing the calf, we're like, oh my, I have so much brutality. I'm like, shit, I, I don't want to be, I don't want to partake in this, which I was not already partaking because I was plant-based, right? But yeah. so people need to understand there's the plant-based diet. You can be plant-based because your doctor tells you, look, stop eating meat, you're going to have a, another stroke. Well, you're not vegan because you don't eat meat or any animal products anymore. You're, you're only vegan when you are doing it for cruelty around your uh, on yourself. There's a difference. There's a distinction from uh, for the diet and the philosophy. Understand? Like, uh, and people need to understand that. So, um, I guess I could say I started being plant based, but then really, really, really uh, gave me conviction uh, in my uh, in my in my my life when mm -hmm. I started being vegan for the animals. You know, and uh, and that was the big change. My wife and I, we it really, it really made it. Uh, first of all, it made it easier because again, it's it's when you're plant based, and then you're you're, you're pre if it's for your health, what people that do a lot of shitty stuff for their health, drugs, alcohol. So if they're presented with yeah. an opportunity, like ah, oh, you know what, I'm gonna eat something. So I I honestly believe that it makes it, 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 it you you will not you will not stir stir away from your diet from your vegan diet from your plant based diet when you have your you put yourself in the victim's mentality when you put yourself in the animal's mentality so um i can honestly say man like uh, i will i will never eat any animal products any animal derived products in the rest of my life until i die i i i've been saying to a lot of people uh, on in my dms because I, i had a i wanted to reply to a lot of people in the recent days i'm like Once you're vegan, you're vegan for life. You cannot say, okay, no, I don't want to hurt animals. But then a year later, two years later, oh, you know what? I want to hurt animals. I don't mind contributing to their slaughtering. I don't want to, I don't mind, you know, no, 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 no. That means that if you do change back to an omnivorous diet, that means you were not vegan. You were, you were plant-based for two years. You understand? Like, it's a big difference. Yeah. Yeah, you were full of shit, basically. Right? <laughs> this is what it is. Yeah. Right? Yeah. No, for sure, man, for sure. And that, that distinction, it is... It is really important to make, and 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 I could not agree with you more. I've 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 had so many disagreements with people about this on this channel right here. I've made videos and I've really pissed people off. I've lost followers. I've lost subscribers. Vegans, I'm talking about, they get so angry because I say, like you just said, the 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 health elements of it, right? That it's it's not a it's not a strong enough argument to stay vegan. It's not a strong enough argument to go yeah. vegan. That it, it's yeah. not it's not an argument at all to go vegan. It's an argument to eat a plant-based diet. You can eat a shit plant-based diet and be very unhealthy. So yeah. it, it's not, it's the weakest argument. And I totally agree with what you said. Someone has a, someone's eating, you know, plant-based, whole food plant-based for health. They have a shit day. I don't know. Something goes wrong. They feel bad. What's the first thing we do when we feel bad? We look for the comfort and what gives us mm. comfort, comfort foods. And for nine mm. times, nine, 99% of people that isn't vegan. That's like a McDonald's burger. That that's a uh, you know KFC or whatever, or or whatever some home cooked food from your parents. And like I said, nine times out of ten, that's not a vegan meal. And most people will crack if they're just doing it for health. There's so many reasons somebody would crack. But you are so fucking right when you say 
once you do this for something bigger than yourself, you're doing it for someone else. And if you don't do it, you will kill them. Like, it's not even like you are, you are, if you don't do this, if you don't stay vegan, if you don't eat that way, you are literally going to take someone's life or Absolutely. you're going to punish them, torture them, then take their life. Once that is clicked here, there, like you said, there is no going back. I couldn't agree with no. you more on that. And I wish more people would get this. Vegans too, yeah. man. I wish more yeah. people would just get this in there and stop trying to tell people that, oh yeah, you know, it's good for health. You know, that, that's it, full stop. Mm. Like, no, you got to follow up with the ethics every time and, and explain yeah. everything, right? It's, it's so, Absolutely. it's refreshing to hear so that from, coming from you, man. So there's a plant base. The, the the diet of a vegan is plant based for people at home. Exactly. Yeah. The, diet of a, the diet of a vegan is plant based. Uh, somebody that is plant based does not necessarily mean he's vegan. That's the big the distinction we do because veganism for for just to refresh people's mind, it's the it's somebody that adheres to the philosophy that you want to reduce the cruelty around you as much as practically possible. So what means practically possible is that, for example, I don't know if that's uh, everybody the case, but for example, you put yourself, uh, you know, you put well-being, again, I, I'm talking for myself, I put my well-being um, on top. This is my, my goal is to, is to live. Uh, maybe some vegans might, might disagree. Um, we're all, there's, there's a spectrum, right? It's not black or white. But for example, yeah. let's say I always say sometimes uh, as, much as, would, uh, as much as it would break my heart, let's say there's a volcano that erupts uh, around the world. And that uh, it, cl it, cl uh, it clogs uh, all sunlight, and then uh, plants start to grow, right? Yeah. In that yeah. case, unfortunately, I would have to survive. It would break my heart. Uh, I would, I would, I would have to, I would have to do the necessity to, to survive. But we're not. I get, people need to understand. But we're not in that scenario right now, and we're not yeah. in a position of survival right now. Most of us aren't. I'm not. I'm not condemning people that are living in the islands right now that have to go fish, that have to kill some people, uh, some animals. Unfortunately, the system is so flawed, it's so corrupt, it's so badly done. We, those people in the islands could have been in a position of eating plant-based food right now. Yes, if we would care about that, but they don't care. But right now, I do not condemn it. We're gonna we're gonna help them in the, in the near future. One day, I think the world's gonna be vegan. Just it's gonna take a while, but it's coming yeah. there. But right now, yeah. most people that are listening to this are living with a fucking computer. They're living in a society, in a, in a city. They're living in a civilized world and have the, the capacity to make the choice. And they don't have to, 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 to contribute to, to, um, to cruelty. So, for example, you know, people need to understand that. Oh, yeah, but I'm not killing the animal. Well, your vote, your money is your vote. If you're buying something, you're paying for somebody else to kill this animal, unfortunately. And uh, this is, is a big no-no. It's an acceptable thing. I could not live at peace. Maybe I'm in a, I'm a very, I know, not maybe. I'm a very passionate guy. And I will, uh, as soon as I realized that, I was, it ruined my lunch. It ruined my, it ruined everything. And that's, yeah. uh, I realized, okay, this, I have to make the switch because I'm going to live not only a negative life, I'm going to be, I'm going to be unhappy for the rest of my life because I'm, I cannot, happily eat a meal that's that i know has been a, a tremendous amount of suffering in this so um, yeah. i just want to understand where i came to how did i do my, my my thinking process right so um yeah so so uh and i honestly think dave i will never be in that situation of, of survival uh you know that like oh my god last resort there's always going to be plant around me there's always going to be fruits around me there's always going to be something around me so so uh, this this like ap ap apocalyptic scenario is just to people to understand like look we're not we're, we're, we're just saying like right now you have the choice we have and more and more than ever you know like yeah. back in the 1970s they had to be raw vegans probably you know uh, yeah. <laughs> I, i'm not saying that i'm not saying to i'm not advocating for you know beyond or other other projects i i actually i don't remember the last time i had a, tr a processed uh you know, uh, vegan food, vegan fake meats, which mm. I used to do a lot. I'm, I'm really, really going uh, right now with my wife in Turkey. It's kind of, uh, it's kind of not, we won't have a lot of choice because there's no, there's no uh, beyond here. There's nothing. It's only whole food plant based. So I'm, I'm eating like 99% whole food plant based. Maybe I had, oh, I had Oreos the other day, you know, right, so, yeah. <laughs> but sure. so this is the healthiest I think you can be as a, as a, as a human. Um, you know, there's a lot of studies that, 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 that go on this, and people are going to say it, and you can help me. On, you can jump in anytime. You know, yeah. in, the, in the blue zones, right? Well, unfortunately, we, we we didn't we didn't have we don't have the the, the data uh, of a fully a full vegan country. 
to this day, you know. And uh, yeah. so we, yeah. we we don't know what it, you know, because they saw yeah in the blue zones in Japan they eat some fish and stuff. Yeah, okay. Well, I would like to see these numbers when with a with a full uh, with a fully plant based uh, diet. Yeah, and it doesn't even. Yeah, you've you've touched on that that kind of people bringing up studies or or, or you know the blue zone diets and things like this. But at the end of the day, I mean, we're not talking about the the differences that I've seen between different diets, especially between like let's say a, a plant purely without ethics here, just for a second, just purely on on you know diet health science or whatever. Uh, the plant based diet versus a diet that includes the the smallest amounts of animal products. The difference in, in health between those groups has been practically it's negligible it's not it's not even worth um you know it wouldn't be worth and even if you didn't give a shit about animals which you know would make you a pretty scumbag right but even <laughs> if even if that was you and you were like okay you know you looked at the studies it's still not worth bringing animal products back in for some tiny tiny little fraction of exactly. a of a potential um, increase and some studies show it the other way around as well some some studies show that the the, the plant-based dieters were healthier some show that the the, the small amounts of fish diets were healthier yeah. but it at the end of the day, this is where the ethics do come in because it might be that even if it were 100% proven, 100% that small amounts of animal products did make you healthier, yeah. what are you going to see in a day-to-day -day life? What you're going to get, what, a couple of weeks what, extra year? in your life maybe? Yeah. What, when you, what is it? It's, it's not even worth it. Who wants to live no. to 99 instead of 98? Mate, I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll tap out at 95. I reckon I don't want to get yeah. old. that fucking old, man. That's so a good I mean, point, dude. you know. Even if, even if it were the case, but the, but the reality is, is it's not the case. It's not yeah. the case that, that it's set in yeah. stone and concrete or anything like I that. I love what you said, Dave, and, and it makes a lot of sense. Like, why, why would you, like, live a, like, let's say, even if it would be 10 years more or five yeah. years more yeah. of, of a negative, and you know that your lifestyle throughout, throughout your life abused innocent sentient animals, all this, it's not, it's not worth, it's not worth the life. So, uh, but it's not the case. And, uh, man, I, I, I would never be able to, to do this. Uh, it, it's, Honestly, I feel ashamed, and I, that's another good point that people watching at home. I feel ashamed because uh, I switched. Uh, I think I was 28. It's been like a year and a half, so I'm 29 now. Yeah, 28, 27. Regardless, I feel bad, but in a way, it's out of our control because we've been lied to by the big food corp. Even big pharma is in there because uh, many reasons in, is there. Mm -hmm. uh, but there's a there's multi billion, maybe potentially trillions of dollars injected into this like. Uh, uh, illusion to make to make people con consume uh, meat and dairy and um, we have to make so people watching this and like they've like i wanted to switch but i'm not admitting to myself or like i'm watching this i'm not sure like like guys there's no shame in admitting we've been fooled uh i'm a big i have ego everybody has a bit of ego it's not you know otherwise yeah. you don't you don't, you don't do anything in life you don't have a great podcast like you are if you don't care about you know succeeding everybody has ego but i was able to put my ego down and say you know what look i'll admit i'll admit uh defeat or i'll admit that i've been fooled but i'll live i'll live a, a positive life from now on and that's the best thing you can do that's the best thing you can do to yourself um, and that's very mature i think that's very mature to do like you know what fuck it um I, I, why, why live, why continue your life once you're conscious about, you know, if you watch what the help on Netflix guys watch, uh, you see that the industry is rigged, uh, um, you know, like why, why continue a li live a lie of lies when you're conscious about this? It's, it's just, it's asinine. And, uh, I Definitely. think, um, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm very happy that I was able to put my, my, uh, cause you know what I was laughing at vegans back then, Dave. It's funny. I think I we all have, mate. We've all laughed at vegans, man. Wait, hey, we, we've how, all been there. How is it? Like, can, you, can you make sense out of it? Like that's when you start laughing because there's a three steps of uh, of um, uh, um, a route to truth, right? Like to acceptance, truth acceptance. I think it's um, violent opposition, ridicule, and then acceptance. And uh, violent opposition. I remember I was like, oh fuck no. My wife. It was actually back years ago. It was like. Dave, I want to go. I want to go like vegetarian, vegan-ish. I'm like, ah, man, I'm a fighter. I can't. I remember, like it's yesterday. I was in Thailand. I was, you know, I eat my chicken, and she was against all odds. She was trying to eat vegetarian, but, but I was, I was next to her, and I, I'm knowledgeable about stuff in life, and I'm saying, no, no, you can, you need because you know we've eaten meat all our life. You, you know, you're gonna have deficiencies. Or so eventually, after like a month, she she conceded and she came back to meat. And like right. for me, I was happy, you know, I was right. But again, I remember we both laughed at a vegan woman, I believe, uh, in the news. She said she was going to go climb Mount Everest as a yeah. vegan. I yeah. think she died. I'm not sure she didn't succeed. She, did. she, 
she did that. Yeah, and yeah. then I was like, and that for me, that guy gave me ammunition to tell you, look, vegans die. Well, if you look at, if you go, if you look on Wikipedia, how many people die in Mount Everest? Yeah. They're all meat eaters. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So it's, it was, it was a, it was a straw man. I don't know how to realize it, but it was a bad argument. And it was just to, so that was uh, started. I was at the ridiculing part, right? I was ridiculing. Yeah. Yeah. But when yeah. You, if you, if you find yourself right now ridiculing, um, you know, this, this diet or this lifestyle, you're close. You're you, you, deep down, you know, because uh, I'm looking back. I knew I was. I knew there was truth in this. And what made me realize even more was uh, Wilkes. Uh, you know, plant based. Uh, sorry, uh, game changers. I'm like, fuck. I have nothing else to say. Uh, I have nothing else to say. Now I'm a, I'm a living proof. I've been. You know, I I don't do supplements. I don't do creatine. I don't do. Uh, I do often sometimes protein shakes, which I was doing as a as a meat eater, regardless. Yeah, yeah. Um, I. Um, I'm trying to do vegetables. Uh, you know, I'm, I want to grow my own vegetables. so I don't have to wash the, the, the B12 and the earth from the roots. That's my next step. Occasional B12 pills, which we all we, we know also that there's a lot of deficient in deficiencies in B12 in meat eaters. Mm-hmm. Uh, I can go on and on. You know, like people at home watching this, uh, the, the B12 argument it's also flawed because most animals that you eat are are supplemented in B12. So why not just cut the middleman and direct, direct directly eat the B12? So I was like, all this made so much sense to me. And, and as a rational person, you can't just, you can't just like say, you know what, unless you have too much ego comes back full circle on, are you mature enough to say, you know what, or, or not only that, and I'll go, deep, I, I think you can agree with me. Are you strong enough mentally? Are you a leader in your circle? Because you're going to get, uh, some pressure from your family. You're gonna get some ridicule from your family. And being a uh, like a revolted child when I was younger, I have no mm. problem with with, be, with with arguments and no problem with, with confrontation. But most people they have problems with confrontation, right? So they can't be like put on a spot at at a dinner table and they don't even have the balls to say, you know what? That's what I stand for. I don't want I don't want the cream. I, please put me give me a soup. Give me a meal with without dairy. It's because they don't want to feel like this capricious, or uh, they don't want to feel like this, this uh, yeah, uh, pretentious or, or yeah. something like that. Yeah. Well, yeah. fuck it. It's not your problem. It's not your fucking problem that your parents don't care about their health. It's not your fucking problem that they were not educated enough, they were not open-minded enough to look at documentaries, to look at peer-reviewed data. It's not your fucking problem that they don't uh, are not compassionate enough to care about innocent animal. So I, I always say now, and this is a quote that really resonates with me. If you don't stand for something, you would fall at anything. So if you don't stand for this in your life, for me, I, I made a promise. My like we said, we stand for this. This is our life mission. If you don't stand for something, you will fall. And that's why a lot of uh, plant-based uh, eating uh, people they fall after two years because they don't stand for it. they don't they don't they don't stand for the animals, and they sure don't stand for the diet because you don't see the immediate result on dairy on your prostate. You don't see the immediate result on dairy in your breast. You know, there's a Harvard study that says that dairy causes, uh, can lead to, to cancer in prostate and, and men and, and breast in women. Well, we don't see that. And even more, I have, I have goosebumps, just how pissed I am, Dave. The fucking uh, American Breast Association, like we saw in a What the Health uh, documentary, yeah. is sponsored by Danone, which is a yogurt milk dairy company. Yeah, but there's studies saying that milk fucking cause breast cancer. So when I see every year, and I, I always refrain myself, but maybe I won't after this. When I see women, oh, this is my post, and I find it so ludicrous. Oh, this is uh, my post. Please share because it's to raise, awa- raise awareness to uh, to breast cancer. I'm like, I want to, I want to comment. Uh, the dairy. Uh, if you want to raise awareness, first fucking cut dairy from your diet. And there's, you know, I mean, there's dairy. The other day, I, I bought a sack of chip. That was actually uh, six months ago. Bought mm-hmm. a sack of chip, and uh, we re, we re, we reread the ingredients, and there was some uh, uh, some milk in there. You throw it away. Right. It's not hard. Like there, but yeah. there's milk in everything. So we have to we have to make sure that like oh, milk powder, man. It's the it's vegans worldwide. I trust me, ridiculous. It's in the most right. It's milk powder yeah. just in everything. Yeah. Mental, mental <laughs> man. Jesus, bro, you're 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 reminding me of how pissed off I was when I first found out all this shit. Because now I'm pissed off again. Like I, yeah. I, it's been a while since I learned, you know, all these little these little lies and things. Yeah. So I I I, I'm, I do talk about them, but but now you're, you're reminding me how fucking angry it makes me as well. You're mean? making me. I now we're both angry. 
So now, now, <laughs> now we're just gonna sit here and shout at each other yeah. for another for another hour. Um, no, you're totally, yo, man. You're totally, you're, you're you're hitting so many fucking nails on the head. Um, I wanted to go back quickly to the you mentioned about the Everest. Um, I yeah. had I, I'm good friends with the guy, an Indian guy. His name's Kuntal Joysha. He's climbed okay. Everest twice, and he's a vegan. Um, so he's uh, he was on the channel uh, oh, a few months ago. So I I can link you up with him afterwards if you wanted yeah. to contact him and you know I don't know, do something like. But yeah, it's cool that you you know yeah. originally you were you were, you know uh, making fun of that woman, but now you've you've come full circle and you know who yeah. knows maybe you could arrange uh, some kind of. I don't know, podcast with him or something because he yeah. knew he knew her as well. Oh, so really? this will be like full circle. And then now you're okay. talking to a vegan yeah, who did totally. it. And then you're like now like, you know, what a fucking, why was I doing that? Right. Uh, yeah. He's been up twice. Yeah. Wow. There's him. Wow. And um, there's another vegan guy, um, Dean Maher, who okay. is from, Aust no, he's, he's British, lives in Australia. He's been okay. up as well. He's done it. Okay. Um, so yeah, I do. There, there are more and more plant-based and vegan people doing yeah. it now. And and and, is, and only, not great. only in, like, not only in climbing, but like for me, it was a big thing. I was uh, I was anxious, not anxious. I was uh, me. I, sorry, I'm French, right? I wanted. I was excited to actually perform with my my new plant based diet as a vegan. Right. And uh, uh, I was planning to do like three fights into twenty, but the whole uh, restrictions uh, around the world happened. So I happened to find finally got a, a fight in November to twenty. My first uh, fight as a vegan and uh, right. I mean, it doesn't matter, but yes, it was against a, a meat eater, uh, you know, jacked. Uh, I, I'm, I wasn't, uh, I wasn't uh, aiming on 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 uh, looks. I was just like a lot of cardio because it was in Wyoming, and Wyoming right. is extremely uh, extremely high altitude, so cardio is like it was the, the my, my main focus. I wanted to make sure that like I have more cardio. So by doing cardio, people that are know a lot of health if you do a lot of cardio you lose some muscle mass as well because you're like if you look at a, a sprinter compared to a, a marathon a marathonian right marathonian is, is more slim than a sprinter or a bodybuilder so mm -hmm. um if you look at our both our bodies in 220 like i was more like a marathonian i was ready to go for five rounds and he yeah. was like jacked uh, but again yeah, that was yeah. uh, uh, it was uh, very. I was very, happy, very happy in that. And after that, Plant Based News did uh, an article about this, saying that, like, um, you know, um, that was my my. Uh, so I was happy after, like, again, again, full circle from laughing at athletes that are vegan now to competing in the the most controversial sport in the world. And as a vegan, I was uh, it was a big moment for me. And and I'm looking. I'm excited to do it again if ever it happens. But again, brings me to. Uh, I'm. I would be okay also to uh, to retire and just open a sanctuary <laughs> yeah man yeah it's 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 uh it's interesting you took you're talking about the uh performance over looks actually because this is something i wanted to get into a little bit i noticed that when i've watched been watching your fights um oftentimes like obviously you know you are muscular but oftentimes um the the opponent seems to have more like i don't know visual muscle but yet mm. you are the stronger you are the stronger mm. one of the two which is which is really yeah. interesting to see and um obviously that that was even before you were vegan so this is not like a you know a people people always say you know plant based vegan people are skinny or whatever but with mm. you that that's that now it's interesting to know that that's actually been one of your techniques so this is how yeah. you train right to, to actually be stronger but maybe not look uh, yeah. you know jacked right because it doesn't matter yeah. if you look jacked if you can't take it if you can't yeah. take a hit you can be as jacked as you want you're not going to survive right in that sport um yeah. and, and how well, uh, sorry go ahead yeah i mean you have you touched right on the nose here like a lot of people think because i was a i was a club manager when i was in uh, in canada and uh, a lot of people you know the are my bouncers we chose them with the you know their heavy uh, looks and it was a deterrent it's just a deterrent and uh um, it doesn't mean that they knew how to fight, and I can I don't I won't name names, but it, some didn't know how to fight, right? It was just yeah. pure, and then when shit hit the fan, I was the one uh, with my you know I was the one uh, getting my hands dirty. But sure. um, the point is, uh, like the for me the way I see it is like I mean I'm 175 pounds, uh, but I think it's around 79 kilograms, and that's yeah. my walk around weight uh, walk around weight. I don't cut weight, and I don't uh, so I'm in a I fight guys that are, you know, 91 kilograms, 95 kilograms. I fight guys uh, like from 79 all the way up, open weight. And um, yep. um, I always thought, like, I always felt like I was in the perfect uh, balance because I can fight guys um, heavier, but they get, they can lose card, they can lose their their breath faster because they yeah. have more weight to carry, you know, and more muscle exactly. means uh, 
more muscle means more um, red blood cells that need to, to grow through your veins in order to oxygenate your, your muscles. So therefore, um, you need to have a, your heartbeat pumps faster, more as well. So I, I was always, I took a lot of pride in being able to, to do five rounds and, and uh, being able to do 10 if, if ever needs to be in the, in the street if, for self-defense, right? But the more mass you have, the more you need to carry that mass, the more you need to oxygenate that mass. So I was always just trying to find that, that nice balance of like, I'm strong. I'm able to to wrestle with a guy that's uh, 30 30 pounds heavier than me, right? 15 kilograms heavier than me, but mm -hmm. I don't have to carry his weight. You know what I mean? Right, so, uh, right. so so yes, I, I'm. Um, and when I when I spar with people, sparring means like uh, fighting or and training. Or when I when I fight with people, they always surprise with with my um, with my strength uh, because like it's it's a unconventional strength. It's more like uh, camouflaged into uh, nerves. You know, like a nerve. Uh, in French, it's like nerve, a lot of nerve endings. Like you, 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 you're, you're yeah, stiff. Yeah. You're not, you're not massive too much. Like because massive can be, uh, can be very, uh, 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 can be, can, can trick, can trick the eye in in a bad way. So, yes. Um, but I could say right now, honestly, as much as it doesn't fucking care, I'm kind of want, I kind of want to, 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 uh, to see how much ripped I can be. Uh, just to show, like, look, it doesn't matter, uh, vegan or not, like, it doesn't matter. So, but yeah, we'll see, we'll see what the future brings. But yeah, definitely, right. the, the diet hasn't changed anything um, in my in my performance. If anything, I feel like I have more cardio. Uh, potentially, maybe it's maybe it's in my head, but potentially because my arteries are not as uh, potentially clogged with with some cholesterol deposits or from fatty deposits from from some of my omnivorous diet. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So as a well, as a professional fighter, right? I know that I've watched enough and learned enough. Like, I, I'm not, I, I don't know Lithue very well, but I, I've been yeah. interested in your UFC and my brother fights Muay Thai or used to anyway. Yeah. So, you know, I know how much it takes like nutrition wise and calorie mm. wise and, and you're, you're a professional, you're, you're a professional athlete, right? So you, you can't, you can't take the piss when it comes to like, you know, you can't be screwed around and, and getting things wrong when it comes to your nutrition. So what, what actually, you, you said it's not affected your training and if anything, you feel better, which is awesome. Yeah. So then what, what are you actually, what's an average day for you then? So if you're going to yeah. train intensively, let's say, say you're yeah. building, say you've got a, um, what do you call it? When you've got a fight coming up, oh, you have a, a training camp. Yeah, camp exactly. So you've got a training camp coming up. You've got a fight coming up. You've got a training camp. Like, what is what 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 are you eating? How many calories yeah. are you eating? Like, break it down um, for people yeah. who, who are curious about that. And I'm curious okay, too. Well, yeah, you're curious. Uh, well, I'm a bit in this different position as well because I'm uh, fighting open weight. You know, like uh, open weight means that uh, you, you don't like fall into the weight categories. Because if you look at UFC, for example, a lot of my friends and I, I fought also a former UFC fighter. In 2019, uh, a lot of a lot of them they have to fit into like a weight category and they have to cut down weight. So they lose a lot of weight in order to go to that category and then they gain it back um, the day of the fight or the day prior to the fight. Um, and that's extremely hard on the body, on the liver. Some people even died. Uh, if you look online, like a lot of weight cut death in Thailand and everywhere. It's very dangerous. Some guys like they put IV. Uh, to to replenish their the water supply because they lose the water. So I yeah. was always against that, and it's changing slowly. This whole uh, this whole uh, universe uh, about weight cutting, but um, uh, yeah, if you look at the uh, the way I I, uh, I fight, the way I, I eat for my training is basically um, I want to get I wanted to get as much um, energy as I can for my training because I train I'm a bit different. Like I train um, one time a day for like three or three hours or you know three hours and a half intense. Mm -hmm. Some of my peers were training twice a day, but I always felt like they were, they were like tired at the end of the day. So I'd always, right. I was always, I, mean, guys, I was, I sleep, I sleep a lot, like 10 hours. And, uh, and uh, I was training once I I eat two meals a day. <laughs> so I, right, eat, okay. uh, yeah, I, like for example, today, um, I'm, uh, but it's Sunday, but let's say tomorrow, it's my training day. Sunday I'm off. Okay. So tomorrow I'm going to go probably to bed at 1am watching some Netflix. Uh, and then, and then after that, I'm going to wake up at like 10 or even if I'm, I don't give a fuck, I'm going to wake up at 11. I, I'm yeah. honest with you. Okay. Sure. And then um, I'm going to eat, I'm going to drink water in the morning. Usually I would have some kombucha right now. We don't have, but like, and then I would uh, wait a few, like 30 minutes, 45 minutes. I'm still fasting. So I'm fasting since like the other day. So I'm basically fasting every day without even trying. I have a, I have, don't have a big appetite, which probably makes me be able to keep a, a, a very, um, good body weight 
to be able to last long. You know what I mean? So I'm, and then I'm eating my first meal at sometimes noon, my first meal of the day at noon. And yep. then, um, then I would finish at like, you know, like say, let's say 1230. Then I would train at three, training to three to six intense from cardio to pads to uh, flipping tires to weights. And then I come back. Recently, I, I enjoy a, like a little uh, uh, sugar boost with a protein shake. Yeah, it's not a necessity. Like I don't, I, and that's something I want to come up to. I don't count my protein uh, at all, <laughs> and yeah. uh, I just eat whatever I feel like eating. And then I would have a big meal uh, at night. That's how my body works. We're all different. Some people eat heavy in the morning, and then light at night. I eat a big. It works for me. And then um, yeah, big a big meal at night. And then that's it. So that would have two meals, uh, a lot of fruits, a lot of, uh, uh, I eat some rice. I love rice because we went, uh, had a lot of fights in Japan and I fell in love with eating, you know, uh, rice, which is like my, my, my energy boost. So yeah, let's say, let's say 9, 9 PM was my last meal or, you know, and after that I don't eat until 12. So it's almost like a 12, it's almost like a, I don't know, 10 hour fast every day. Right? Yeah. 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 So, um, now I'm going to go, I'm going to go, uh, Try something new to see with with another uh, uh, trainer, uh, vegan trainer. Shout out to uh, Jack the Vegans. Uh, he's, uh, he's he reached out to me. We're gonna we're gonna do something together. Uh, maybe start counting more because I want to see how lean I can be uh, on my vegan diet. Which you know, uh, so yeah, because right now I'm not. I'm I really like people to understand. I, I don't give a fuck about aesthetics. It's all about yeah. being performance. You know. So, um, but like let's let's mix both of them just as a as an ambassador for vegan diet. So I don't know if it helps a little bit, but like a lot of fruits, a lot of uh, seeds, a lot of uh, a lot of I, I like to eat like uh, uh, I don't know. Um, my my wife, I'm very lucky because my wife makes all my meals. Like, don't touch the kitchen. So I'm getting this impression because like this is kind of what I'm like when people ask me, "What do you eat?" I'm like. Um, Annie, <laughs> what, what do I eat? <laughs> I can oh, really yeah. feel that. I can tell, like, you don't really, you can't, you're trying to remember because you didn't make it, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's so, funny, well, man. We had, I, had a, I had a big plate of, like, uh, like I think five or ten pears and apples and then, like, granolas with uh, coconut milk with coconut cream and, and, uh, yeah, it's it would like a wrap with uh, with tofu with vegetables, sauteed vegetables. I'm I'm spoiled. I know I'm a spoiled, uh, but it's it's still it's still relatively easy to do it. You just you just don't need animal protein and like and that's something I, I wanted to touch, Dave. Uh, at first, I remember in Cyprus, like I tell you, when I when I said to my okay after game changers, let's fucking do this because it was really a moment. I remember both of us were looking in the bed. Are we doing it? Like after after <laughs> the credits roll, like. Okay, like it's happening. We we like we're going vegan, right? And uh, I remember like the 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 little meat eater came back to hunt. He's like, "Okay, babe, I need two cans of chickpeas every day because I need two gram two grams of protein per pound." Of, you know what I mean? Like, but yeah, this yeah. looking into it, I realized that this is another propaganda thing to make sure that we eat a lot of protein and where the most people think protein comes from, meat. Uh, Mars protein, cereal protein, everything is a protein nowadays. So then you 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 are basically making indirectly they made a society that wants that a lot of protein. So uh, I think I'd, honestly, hats off, it's brilliant. You 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 don't tell them to eat meat. You tell them you need a lot of protein, and they're gonna go to the meat. And uh, yeah, so it's it's, it's just uh, yeah. So they even, uh, even made a they even made a change recently. I was talking about this with another uh, YouTuber called Peace with Reese. By the way, if you yeah. want to like follow some cool vegan YouTubers, he's a good one. Peace with Reese. Um, Reese is spelt weird, but yeah, I'll, I'll send it to you later because <laughs> okay. um, he's Welsh. Uh, anyway, and he was saying how the meat industry started. They stopped calling it meat, some of them, and they started to call it protein. So they're actually oh. started to call it protein Whoa. now. So right to so get your protein burger here, and then it's like. It, it, it kind of sounds good, doesn't yeah. it? A protein burger it's sounds deep. great, right? And then it's a meat burger. So that's really clever because I think they're realizing that the word meat now, a lot of people are starting to get turned off by it because of the yeah. you know, environmentalists as well yeah. as the vegans as well and the health people. And all together, meat is getting a bad name, bad reputation. Yeah. So call it protein wow. and, you, and you get away with it. Right? So you're totally right. You're totally right. It, the, by calling protein, for example, I don't know if you see like we have, okay, here we have animals, right? And then we have meat. And then we have protein. So by calling it protein, you're you're th two steps away from the actual uh, victim. You're further away by the victim. Exactly. Like, yeah. 
So people have yeah. a hard time making the connection from animal to meat. They're going to have even harder time to make the connection from protein to animal. And uh, yeah, well, that's so true. And I, I'm so pissed at the system, Dave. Like in Canada, uh, we are growing up. The, that's how that's how deep the industry is. They were giving us probably I don't know for you too. They were giving us uh, cups uh, or like little boxes of uh, of cardboard boxes of milk at school. Yeah, man. Yeah. So so this is insane. insane. This is insane. There's you know the, the calcification, osteoporosis, uh, cruelty, hormones. Like it's insane. Like they were giving us to us and um, the the you know one glass of milk is good, but two is better. The, the publicity is with, with the little mustache of milk. The Rock, it's, man. The Rock doing that yeah, shit. Sell out. Sell out. Mental. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely yeah. madness. Yeah, yeah. And that that actually takes me on to another point. I was going to talk about to you about this about like famous fighters and celebrities and like especially for you famous fighters though like for example conor mcgregor was famous for speaking out against uh, nate diaz before their fight right but before um nate diaz obviously smashed him which is good nate diaz eats plant-based some of the time though he's not a vegan huh. and the point was uh conor was saying you know i'm gonna come out like a, a lion and you're a gazelle eating all your fucking plant-based food i'm gonna i'm gonna kill you yeah. like and you know there are a lot of fighters like conor who are coming out vegans like that and, you know, coming out set corners, pussies and wimps. And, and then there are those stereotypes of vegans being, um, I say pussies, I don't use that word, but obviously this is what people say, right? Yeah. It's a, it's really ridiculous that we're soft and pushovers. And so like, how have, have you had any other fighters try and do that to you? Like once they found out, like, have you, have you ha experienced uh, any of this? And not yet. I've seen some comments. Uh, my team's seen some comments and, uh, um, I'm, I'm trying to open it as, as, as we speak. Um, okay. I'm, like uh, I've seen some comments, but like it's not uh, like when you're confident, when you know who you are, uh, you're not touched. And if you look in psychology, there's a thing called uh, you know like either projection or very. Uh, uh, it's like um, strong feelings. When you have strong feelings, let's say I'm telling you, uh, um, you, Dave, you're not intelligent. You're like, no, I'm intelligent. That means you're you're probably you're probably like insecure about your intelligence right but yeah if yeah you're, if you're like but oh, dave uh you know you're you're vegan and you're a little pussy i'm like okay if you if you want you can come train we'll, we'll spar together well you know yeah. like you have confidence i don't care so uh i don't really see that uh because uh i i know the reality obviously so uh it's always uh, it would be funny honestly if somebody would say that because uh i know the reality um i'm on top of my game and uh uh diet wouldn't change that uh, if anything i feel and that brings me to the point and this is ah, like i have to find you the quote it was it's so good it's basically well what i wrote in my what i wrote in my on my post recently was basically the strong don't don't uh, take advantage of the we don't they protect the weaker ones that's yeah that's something i really stand for um and another one which is also a very um it's right here one second it's very important to me I just uh Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Sorry, go. I was just going to show people that post here, just real quick, okay. just so people know what we're talking about. So this was a post you made on your Instagram: yeah. uh, "The strong don't prey on the vulnerable ones; they exactly. defend them." And that that was the post that made me go, "Right, it's time to send him a message and see if we'll mm -hmm. come on for a stream." Because yeah. I, I felt like you were ready at this point to really like yeah. go in hard, right, and, yeah. and get into this discussion. So, yeah. um, very happy uh, that that you that I saw. And <laughs> I, I saw this. That I was was that was just an impromptu. Uh, the guy had a camera and, and the gym. I'm like, fuck it, let's take a picture. Like, I don't even. I'm not even a fight camp. I don't even give a fuck. Like, uh, uh, like before a fight, I can be even more ripped than that. It's, the point is, it's not about looks. Like people have, you can be, you can be a vegan and have no abs. It doesn't matter. You, you know, the point is, we're we're the weak, the the weak prey on the weak. Yes, yeah, the, the weak around the weak. Uh, the strong don't. And uh, another quote I found it, Dave. It's Having a soft heart in a cruel world is a strength, not a weakness. And uh, some people, uh, that that to our, to answer your question, I did see. Oh, what you're 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 soft now? Like what? Because I, because I don't want to hurt innocent animals. I'm soft. Yeah. Uh, like actually, it's a strength. It's it's. I think it's the it's the most manliest thing you can do, is to admit and to and to uh, to protect the the innocent one. That's that's in, if you look at even in movies superheroes you know they, they protect the, the 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 population they protect the weaker ones they don't fucking hurt them well why and especially if if we can avoid 
it's a no-brainer. It's a fucking no-brainer, right? So having really? a soft heart in a cruel world, which we can all, we can agree that it is a cruel world, and not only because of the atrocities that we do to animals, but we, we do to each other, and uh, you know, it's just insane what's happening. But if you want to be, if you want to show real strength, well, you you uh, having a kind heart. I think kindness always win in, uh, and uh, this is the first step. If you if we want to have a better 20, uh, 100 years, thousands of years, I really believe, and that's my life mission, like, I want to make, I, I want, um, to, to, in order to have human betterment, we need to be, uh, to, that's the first step. We can we cannot pray for peace on earth, like all the freaking pageant, pa pageant that we saw. I, I want peace on earth. Well, no, you don't want peace on earth. You're fucking slaughtering animals for every fucking meals you eat. So no, you don't want peace on earth. Yeah. Peace on earth means we're living in harmony. We're living in peace. And, Ideally, we would grow our own vegetables. We would not use, uh, like you said on one of my on my posts, we don't use, uh, we don't kill. Uh, you know, there's, there would be like practically no crop deaths, or it would be accidental. Uh, like you said, we're living in a cruel world. Cruel by cruelty or accidental cruelty is potentially inevitable, but we can definitely, definitely thrive, aim to reduce it. There's, Absolutely. And, and that's always funny. How how the fuck can people try to make people that are trying to better themselves feel bad like you're literally trying to say look we're not perfect i have a mac right now i'm talking to you from a mac i uh i don't have any letter but like i used to have but like i'm trying as much as i can pr possibly can i'm trying to better myself this is a very noble cause it's a very noble thing to do and there's nothing wrong about this and uh some people Insecure people try to defend their own uh, lifestyle, try to uh, put that down. But uh, yeah, I think uh, we, we can. Uh, um, the goal would be to have. Uh, honestly, we have to change the system, and, and and the system needs to be. And I'm probably talking like you were talking years ago, right? Like uh, we need to change the system. Uh, I still but, do, man. I still do. <laughs> I still do. But it's great uh, to I, hear it coming from. You know, it's great to hear it coming from coming from you with such a passion, right? Yeah. Because you have a. You have a platform that is that is far bigger than mine, and and also my platform is predominantly vegans, right? So mm. what really gets me excited is to hear someone like you. Your platform is ninety nine percent people that have never even heard any of this before. Like this is the yeah. first time they're gonna be hearing these messages, and and they're hearing it from someone they clearly look up to. Like mm. you're the people who follow you, man. They they I've seen the responses to some of your posts, man. They. They like love you. They like they love what you stand for. They love what you've done. They they respect you, and you earned that respect uh, the right way. You know, you, you went through the right channels. You you did the hard work, and you earned the respect. So when you go and say these things, they're not thinking, "Oh, fuck this guy. He's he's a, he's a fake celeb." They're like, "No, you're you're the real fucking deal." They respect you, so they will listen to you, even though they're going to be pissed off maybe at yeah. first. But so, to be know. fair, Dave, I, I'm very I'm very happy. Uh, the response has been uh, potentially because of my uh, my career, because, potentially because of my uh, of what I do for a living, has been incredibly uh, incredibly positive. I I would I would say I would have at least close to a hundred people, no joke, that said I've been plan based. I've, I went plan based because of you already. Like a hundred is not it's not much, and then it's it's not nothing. It's gonna go uh, exponential after that. You know they're gonna influence their family, friends, girlfriends, boyfriends. So uh, I'm very proud of this and. Uh, but yeah, like if you look at my uh, my Facebook page, for example, it's it's my it's the same handle as uh, as uh, Instagram. I have like 1.7 million people there. All my posts usually I have like you know 30,000, 40, 100,000 likes. My last <laughs> my last post uh, talking about our interview, I think I yeah. got like a thousand. So I mean, it's a shock. It's a shock. But the fact is, I'm the fact that I'm a fighter and uh, tell them look, and people are surprised. Oh, you you can be a fighter and not eat meat and i'm so happy that it's happening because i was one of them like I actually need meat to fight i need meat to be a man but no the more now i realize actually it's the entity antithesis or it's the opposite yeah so if, of if course yeah a, a man that understands this and understands everything is not gonna is not gonna go ahead and eat uh, eat meat it's it's uh it's just against any manhood. That's again, I'm talking for myself. It's against any manhood. Any any uh, it shows weakness to, if you're conscious. Again, if you're conscious of the cruelty, if you watch Earthlings, if you we're not even going to talk here about health, but if you if you're conscious about about all the cruelty, and you're a rational 
and you're you're a, a man that you know pr- wants to protect the weaker ones. You're like a, a leader. Well, you cannot go after that. If you're if you make the connection, you cannot go ahead and and continue your your abusive lifestyle. It's it's the opposite of a manly man. It's cowardly, isn't it, to to abuse? We had this. I had a debate recently with someone, and I said the same thing to them. I said, "You you are punishing other animals for the for the bodies they are born into. They did nothing to deserve it. They just." They just happened to be born into that body and they're not as intelligent as us and therefore they're not as powerful as us and you're punishing them for that. It's evil. It's the most cowardly, pathetic thing you can do. Um, man or woman, it, it doesn't It doesn't even matter. You just, if you use your strength to assert dominance over someone that physically, physically mentally can't do a thing to stop you, you are evil. That is, I, I can't think of a better way of describing what pure evil is. That that would yeah. be it, you know? And, yeah, it's so true. And we one guy saw on the news, uh, you might like this one. He's like, you've probably seen it. And uh, he's like, do, and one guy asked him, do you have dominion? Do we have dominion on animals? And he's like, well, we don't have dominion. We have power. Uh, we have, you know, we have, we're able to, we have power. But the question is whether we should use it or not. You know, like it's, it's like, okay, yeah. I, I have a guy. I can, I can, I can go bully him. I can take all his money, but should I? Like, it, it, you know, and, uh, and another thing is, um, if I would, if that's the species in my argument, which is something that I'm really, really, uh, I can't believe that it's still happening nowadays. But again, to each their own time frame, their ta- their timeline. It took me uh, 29 years, right? So, yeah. Uh, but if we would have, and that might help some people understand. If we would have uh, like a, a building, and that in that building we would breathe artificially inseminate dogs, right? Uh, because people love dogs. For me, I I, I never had a specific attachment to any kind of animals i never had a dog growing up i never had any animals so i couldn't it was all the same i was just indifferent um mm. but people seem to log up so so it's good if you have a building that a lot of dogs and you breed them into existence and then you slaughter them cut their throat or some of them you actually like shoot a bolt gun in their head and then you you know you remove their their, their skin you think you make a fur coat with the skin and then you actually uh, butcher the meat and then you bring that meat to McDonald's or all these and you eat that meat you would think I'm a fucking psycho right if we would do this but yeah. somehow in the society in the sixth disease society that we're in it's okay for pigs to, do, to, to, to go through that same treatment. It's okay for, for chickens that we put in macerators. And, and people understand macerator. Like, I think the word, the people don't really understand how cruel that is. They would have to, mm. like, why is, is it not mandatory to go to a, like a slaughterhouse as a kid? You know, it's cool. Right. But it's, you know, anyway, my point is uh, um, the, 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 the system is, is disgusting. And um, I'm ashamed. I'm ashamed. Uh, uh, of like the lobbyists, the, the government, because they even made milk mandatory in the pyramid of, of food. Like how how deep is it? It's deep, man. It's in this, it's engraved in the system of our societies all around the world, and uh, so yeah, it, it's it's pissing me off. We would we would be like cycles, and and again, even more so that Completely. pigs are known to be smarter than dogs. <laughs> so you're, exactly. you're I don't even know why I'm laughing. Like you're you're I'm I'm laughing out of out of, out of sadness. Yeah, you're yeah. you're doing this to, to pigs, which are smarter than dogs. But somehow, society that tell you that the dog is the best friend a man can have. Well, fuck you. You don't love animals if you eat them. Like your video said, I fucking love your video. I watched it. Thanks, you man. don't. Oh man, you, it was amazing. At the little like guy like panicking and uh, like. <laughs> Uh, oh yeah. yeah. Whoa! I don't know what happened. What, what happened to me? Why was I? What was I panicking? That's the it's, insecurity. It's fucking accurate, man. It's not. It's. it's it was a video, but but it's not too far away. From, I've had sim. I've had to me where people get really fucking angry, man. They get so mad that you suggest for a second that they can't love animals that and eat them. They they it really upsets them, especially if they're like a you know someone who rescues yeah. dogs, right? Or if someone who works in a dog sanctuary, like especially if you say something like, "Well, you know, yeah, you might love the dogs, but you definitely aren't an animal lover." Oh my yeah. god, man. When you trigger someone's cognitive dissonance, they go, they lose it. They absolutely lose it. You lose friends over that. Yeah. Like close friends will, will will not be your friend anymore over that shit. Yeah. They get so mad. So be it, right? It's uh, it, it, I, it's it's so true. But it, it's same as racism in a way. It's speciesism, right? Like if you love a certain race over like like 
then you're you know i don't i don't like uh, i don't like asians but i love black people well you're racist right like it's same thing like, I, i don't love i eat dogs i, I pay for someone to, to 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 kill them and to slaughter them but i i love dogs well you're specious so yeah. so and and i don't know the name of the guy you probably know but like the another another video that really uh, and I, i'm i'm appealing to people that are not vegan yet that are watching this yeah. some of them guys like um The, I think that we've been taught to hate animals as a as a young age. Like you know, the the root of all hatred um, is 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 taught to us as, as a young age, and yeah. uh, it's somehow some people break down that barrier at one at one point, like we did, um, for many reasons because we like to, to question authority, we like to uh, confrontation. There's many reasons why, right? We like to be different, and uh, we were able to see other paths than some people don't. But some people never break it, and. Uh, They live a life of, of uh, cognitive dissonance, like you say. I broke this down for um, for some kids once. I did a talk to a, like a lot of kids, like a big room of kids, and I had okay. to really, really dumb it down. And I explained it the same, similar to how you've done, but to really, really break it down. I told them all, look Example. at each other. I said, look at each other. And they looked at each other. I said, all right, okay. Do you look the same? No. You all look different. Yes. All right. Should you treat each other differently because you look different? No. All right, cool. Now look at me, and, and this was uh, Indian kids, by the way. Do, do, do I oh, look India. different? India? Yeah, this was in India. I was like, do I look different to you? They were like, yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah, obviously, I look very different to you, right? Completely, we, we, different skin colors and different, you know, features. Are you going to treat me differently because we look different? No. Okay. And then I put up on the screen a dog. I was wow. like, you're going to treat? Are you going to treat them differently because they look different? And then it kind of got confusing a bit. And then I was like, okay, hold up. Now what about the chicken? Would you treat the chicken differently from the dog? And they all said, yeah. And I was like, but, but, but they look just because they look different because that's pretty much it, it is all it is. It's arbitrary. The species is as arbitrary as the race, which yeah. is as arbitrary as whether you have brown eyes or blue eyes. It yeah. really makes no fucking difference. Yeah. So um, and, and I think for these kids, it really helped them. But I think also for adults, too, because it, when you break it down like that, I mean, species, race. Um, you know, it, it is as as arbitrary is it is as insignificant as whether or not you have brown hair or blonde hair. It doesn't yeah. matter. These are not important things. These yeah. are just features. Your your yeah. feet not even features. They're just just facts. They're just definitions of you. Like, oh, you are a white person. Okay, you are a black person. Okay, you yeah. are a dog. Okay, it doesn't matter. You know, who yeah. gives a shit? Like, it's how we feel. Uh, you know, I would like to know. Uh, it might help some people at home too. What would be? Because I've encountered people in my life that the health aspect. You know, they're unhealthy, very unhealthy. Like even like just coming out of the hospital. The, so the health aspect. I'm telling. Look, stop eating this uh, this thing. It's very bad for you. You're going to have another heart attack, right? Yeah. It doesn't seem to care. They don't care. So the point, what would be, so obviously, uh, ultimately the goal is to make the make them do the connection in their head of, you know, what they're eating. So if the health is not a reason, well, the ethical part is going to be one. What, what, what did you find you had the most success in making people make the connection with the victim? You have to show them the victim and, and okay. you have to either be there if you can be there. So I, It's it's interesting. So in a in a street activism event, so there there are these things called Cube of Truth events. I don't know if you've seen them. Masks and the laptops they stand. Uh, actually, street. yes. Can I say? Can I say something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, yeah. I was doing a seminar in uh, in uh, Stavanger in Norway. I was doing a seminar there. Okay. And uh, I was I watched the movie. I came out of the movie, and I I was in Vienna at the time. It was in 2018, and uh, there was a there was a I guess it's a cube. How you call it? They were all anonymous yeah. masks with laptops. I was, man, I wasn't a vegan at the time. It took me two years after that time to be vegan, but I actually stayed there. I was open-minded and I watched, I looked at the camera. I went very close to the, to the, to the girl, to the guy, and I mm. watched uh, the video and um, I, I, it made me think and it yeah. worked. I, I went out and it, it just, it planted the seed. It's a very crazy, <laughs> but looking back i'm like the reason why i went i stayed an extra time i just just passed by i looked and i i looked so i encourage people to continue doing these because it wakes people up please definitely continue. bro definitely you're 100 right and even though you didn't you didn't change in that moment you're yeah. right a seed was there and yeah maybe it took two years for it to, to to for something to come into into realization but that got you 
a little bit closer to the realization. This is the point. So if somebody had spoken to you in that moment, if somebody had stopped and you'd have had a proper discussion, who knows, man, you might have you might yeah. have been closer to that moment. Yeah. And this is why these events are so good. So you, you, someone comes over, they get, they get caught by it. They're like, holy shit, like you did. And then yeah. ideally somebody would approach them and and say hey like you know what let's talk about this like what are you watching here how do you feel what's going through your mind what do you think we can do about this and then this is where you start to get the excuses they normally come yeah. up with excuses and then you work through the excuses you try and not give them too much time with it you know if it's a sh stupid excuse don't give it too much time just kind of deal with it and, and, and move on like what, what else what else would stop you from stopping funding this questions like that are really good this for me has been in my experience, the best way, because they're strangers, number one, they're strangers. So you've got a better chance of convincing a stranger than you have of a family member really? or friend. 100%, 100%. Family members or friends don't respect your authority because uh, mm. you're not an authority. You are, the, you are the brother, sister, cousin, you know, friend. They don't look at you as some big authority. Maybe on fighting, they'd see you as an authority and they'd be like, yeah, coach me. But yeah. that, that you've established yourself in that area. You're not like an international... Um, you know, vegan um, yes. icon, and, and, and yeah, not yet. But even if you are, even if yeah. you are, because this is a moral issue, you're still going to struggle to influence them if they don't want to be influenced. So if they're like, yeah, please teach me, you're set. You, you're going to be able to go for it. If they're like, nah, you know, fuck you. You don't. I don't want to talk to you about this. It's much better if a stranger talks to them because then. Yeah they don't have they're less likely to tell that stranger to go fuck themselves which is a good yeah. thing and they're more likely to listen because it's polite and then that's how you can kind of get in through the door into the, into mm -hmm. their mind right um mm -hmm. i've experienced this person i'll give you a quick story i had a friend who was really struggling with her boyfriend really really struggling to get into just like you just said like really arrogant and no stop talking to me about it i'm not interested and she was a she's an activist so you know it really hurts hard. her that you that's wouldn't hard. listen <laughs> Right. Yeah. So uh, she said, I think I want to bring him to a cube of truth. And um, and would you talk to him? Because she'd heard me talk and she thinks she thought I was the best match. Because like I said, I'm not I'm not like your lovey dovey hippie kind of guy. I'm, I'm, I swear a lot. I'm very straight, very direct. And so is he. So she was like, I think you guys might this might be the, the one, you know. So she brought him down. And um, the second uh, she left, he just like watched and waited for her to go. Then he said, look, what the fuck is all this about, man? What is this? What is this vegan shit? She won't stop talking to me about it. And I just, right. Just, just tell me, tell me the answers to these questions. Why are you vegan? And, and he wanted to know, he wanted the info. He just didn't want it from her. Ah, that was, that was the thing. So I got all the info and the last I heard it was, this was a couple of years ago. The last I heard, uh, he had said he would start eating plant-based more at least not fully and then he came to other events with us he came to vigils you know at slaughterhouses where they go we go to see the animals going in and and film it i don't know if you've seen that in canada it's a, yeah. definitely a a big thing in canada it's where it was founded this uh this this form of activism he came to those events and so he really changed him and the only i didn't do anything special i, I was just not his girlfriend that's the only yeah. qualification i had that i wasn't her yeah. So it, it really does depend, man. But the the general, my my general advice for you is if, if you are having someone who is close to you, who is really, really not listening, for the sake of your mental health, it's, in my opinion, and to also your time, it's better to re remove a little bit from them because you're going to be p getting pissed off. You're going to get very upset with them. They're going to get upset with you. And nothing will change because yeah. because of them being stubborn. But think about those hundreds of thousands, millions of people Pretty that you could talk to with your platform. And imagine, you know, if you get really pissed off, you're not going to be in a good place to respond to a DM from somebody who's interested, right? So this is, it's a tough lesson to learn, but I think with close people, we sometimes have to swallow it, swallow our pride and just be like, you know what? You want, you're not ready for this. I, I can't stop you from hurting animals, but I can convince these people. So, I'll, you yeah. know, you do you, not you do you. No, take that yeah. back. I'm going to yeah. pause that, put this on ice. You're not off the hook. I'm going to come back. Yeah. But I'm going to come back when you're being more open-minded. That's kind of yeah. how I would see it. With I really appreciate you know. that. That's that's a great advice, and uh, that brings me to the the people that say, um, "Well, why you why you uh, it's like why you're pushing this so much? Why you're pushing your mm. uh, you're such an extreme an extremist? Like, can you leave me alone? Like, don't push your ideology on me. I'm like, stop forcing it down my throat. 
fuck, stop, stop forcing a fucking knife out down people's, you know. And, and so, so that pisses me off a lot. And uh, it's just, it's, it's so, it's, I guess that's, uh, could, could that be considered cognitive dissonance? Like you don't, you don't realize that, that what you're doing to yourself. I don't know. It's, uh, it's, so, uh, it's, it's the, the, the whole forcing thing comes from people have this weird concept that, that they shouldn't have, I don't know what it is. It's so weird. They, they say you're, they're being forced, but ultimately the places where they think they're being forced are not their own, right? But they're not their own. As in, if it's your page, your YouTube, your Instagram, you they're like, stop pushing me. You're like, you came to my fucking page. I, I'm not, like, I'm not yeah. on your page. I'm not at your yeah. house. What are you talking about, man? Yeah. And I'm not force feeding you fucking tofu, am I? So there's no force yeah. here. So yeah. um, no, you, you're going to get that a lot, dude. But um, yeah. yeah, just remember that. Just be like, dude, you don't have to look at my post. Uh, you you could you know, <laughs> go, yeah. go. I'd like it if you looked, but you know, yeah. all right. I'm, I'm not forcing you. I, I, I'm just trying to, I'm not forcing people. I'm trying to appeal to your better nature. I've said that to people yeah. before. Well said. I'm trying well said. To, you know, I, I'm just trying to help, trying to do something for the animals and hope that you are not a piece of shit and that you'll join me in doing something for the animals. Mm -hmm. That's my hope. That's my hope yeah. for, the, for for you know why I'm doing this, but yeah. you're gonna get it, man. Yeah. But yeah, the, 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 these comments of like oh, you're an extremist. I'm like, well, I, I even had that thought that discussion with somebody else today. Like, I'm not the extremist. Actually, I'm asking for a non-action. I'm asking you to just leave the animals alone and do you know just pick fruits and vegetables and plants instead of so this it's a non-action. I'm not I'm not asking you directly to. To, to you know and and uh, what's extreme again and I'm going to continue what's extreme is extreme for people at home is to breed animal into existence kidnap their child kill them ex or exploit them for the for their entire life until they're not productive enough like I'm talking about dairy cows here kill them then use their body their dead flesh for uh, food and uh, and then repeat that cycle and then some of them are gas chambers like pigs some of them you're cutting their their tails pigs are get their, their tails are getting cut their teeth are getting removed so they don't bite each other uh, people animals are getting skinned alive like what's extreme meat eating plants or you with your money supporting that 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 industry when you go to a McDonald's when you go to any place when they sell meat dairy and other things like butter butter and like like the other day it was simple as i go to a, 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 a we went to a, actually we didn't go with we ordered it's a boulangerie like a, a place where they make dessert anyway yeah I, you know they, they're not vegan but they they said we're open to make custom things so i just it's just as simple as as like okay can you make this donut without butter milk and egg and they said yes so i got it delivered at my house and i got these delicious uh, gooey uh, donuts which are uh you know uh plant-based so like why why again we're not even talking about health here it's unhealthy to do milk and dairy but why would you contribute to that cruelty when you just make a simple simple change in your life so um just like basically for people just to re resume my my journey to change to was was uh, was at first was for my health, and then after that I I, I, I became to have stronger ethics, stronger moral, and I, I don't want to be part of that that cruel and disgusting industry that we live in the world. And uh, if some people are you are watching, they're athletes, they're doing a lot of sports. Uh, well, I'm not just the only guy. There's a lot of athlete Olympians, uh, powerlifters, CrossFitters. Uh, few fighters but you know there's there's some and more and more happening there's actually uh, one in the ufc right now uh, Jane, uh wilkes is one me um a lot of, a lot of uh, people are, are opening their eyes to this it's a big uh, people have, it's a big barrier to break down it's billions yeah. of dollars over the years from childhood and with the government and everything so we have to break that down and if it takes a, a cube of truth just in a way, the, the I would I would love to see these cube these cube of truths with bills of, of funding of the you know from the government. It would be maybe like it's just it's easy to say well well it's not work it's not working as fast as well fuck we have we have to disconstruct billions of dollars of publicity of mass media and we have to disconstruct years of indoctrination from the government. So give us time, right? We're trying to do our best here with what we have, and mm -hmm. uh, but it's changing because of as. You know, like we look at these big corps, big food corps, they're, they're putting plant-based foods, uh, beyond meat, uh, whatever, like they're, 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 they're saying, okay, we have to adapt here because if we don't adapt, we're going to, we're going to be run over. So they're all adapting, which is a sign that even as simple as you alone changing your choice in, 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 in foods, 
will make an impact because if we do it all together, it's the supply and demand and it's working as we speak because you have Beyond Meat, all these like, becoming like billion dollar companies and they're going to become big food corps and they're going mm-hmm. to be able to, to, you know, so I don't know, I can I can talk all along about this, but um, yeah. if you're an athlete, it, it won't affect your, your, your thing. Again, you can check with your with other vegan dietitian, with other people like a lot of cardiologists are vegans. A lot of people are uh, medical or experts are vegans. Um, everybody, everybody's are different. Ch- take your body, but uh, uh, for me, I felt like I felt not only better in my body, like I felt happy, I felt energized, I felt I, maybe more cardio as well. But I honestly, I feel more positive because I know. And that's that's big. And the mental part is ninety percent of fighting. Like my ninety percent of happiness, everything is starts in the head. And I feel better knowing that I live a a, a, a less cruel life. And we're not telling we're not telling ourselves lies. Dave and I, David and I, we're not telling ourselves lies that to feel good. We know that perfect cruelty free world is impossible. Living is cruel. You know, you're gonna step on insect. You're gonna you're gonna you take the plane. You got you might kill. There's cruelty everywhere, but. I, I really respect a human that wants to minimize that cruelty as much as possible. So I applaud you if you're willing to improve yourself because, uh, and I want to finish on that. One guy reached out to me recently. He's like, Dave, I feel mm-hmm. like I'm a loser in life. Like I'm not, uh, now I want to be, I want to do this and that and that. I'm like, first of all, you're not a loser, bro, because you reach out and you want to improve. You know how many losers don't want to have it, don't want to improve. They don't even have that thought in their head. That's a loser mentality. You want to status quo. You don't want to move. If you want to change, you're already a winner in my you're already a winner in my book. Definitely, man. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Shit, bro. There's so Wait, much you, to you even have any questions uh, from the fans? Yeah, yeah, we have, we have a few questions. Let's do a couple. Yeah. Cool, man. Sweet, sweet. Um yeah, actually, yeah, guys, you can send some questions over actually now. I'll keep an eye on the chat and I have a few already lined up. And actually We'll, 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 whilst we're waiting for the questions, we can finish on a little bit of a high note. You mentioned earlier you wanted to grow uh, vegetables, but I, I actually, dude, I'm not sure that you'd be the best for that. Um, wow. The reason being, I found this little uh, video that I'm just going to put <laughs> up now. And uh, one second, it's not coming up for me on my, yeah, it's, my uh, side. One second, let's get it up. Hold up. Yeah, it's a video I found on Instagram. And um, hold up, I got, I've got a bit of a freeze up coming on over here. I, you can probably see it on your yeah. screen, but I can't see it on mine for I some see reason. It. It's like when, I, when I had some fun with the. Uh, yeah the, the palm tree the banana tree yeah so i'll show people this anyway just so they can you know uh see what i'm getting at here and i do i'm not sure i'm not sure if you're gonna be able to grow trees or or, or vegetables <laughs> if you're gonna do this to them to be honest so yeah let's get the audio smash it my bare hands but not this one <laughs> this one he was uh <laughs> that was, yeah, that was amazing. it's crazy man it's like a natural it's like a natural bunting bag yeah. <laughs> head box. I would tell that audio off actually, it'll probably get me yeah. copyrighted. <laughs> but yeah. Oh maybe. No, it's my it's my video. I own all the copyrights. You're good. I send the mute the music too? Oh uh, no, that was royalty free as well. You're good. But oh yeah. cool. Okay, okay. Well but, yeah, it's still um, good. It's, it's still good anyway, without so. you. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. We also did like I, we did the watermelon like you posted the other day. Like it's just, you know, it's for fun, but uh yeah. yeah, but I want to. I want to do. A, that's that's my next step right now. Like, if there's fighting opportunities, yes, the, the whole world is a bit fucked up because of the of the you know the the situation around the world. Um, yeah. But my whole focus right now has kind of precipitated this, like really fast forward, fast tracked my 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 retirement plan, which is building a sanctuary and being as much. Uh, I, I want like I'm always been an outcast, but like now I really want to be a, like almost a hermit because. Again, I, I really don't like the system because of, of, of all the cruelty, because of everything. You know, capitalism uh, it can be pedophilia, can be a lot of things. I really fucking I hate the I hate the <laughs> hate the world, man. Like I yeah. and uh, there's, I'm I'm a I'm an optimistic guy, but I also realize that there's a lot of bad things happening. So I, I just want to be able to live with peace a peaceful life. I want to build a sanctuary, Dave. Uh, I want to build a, a big sanctuary, like acres and acres of land to, 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 to save as many animals as we can. And, uh, that's, that's my, uh, I'm really actively looking for this, I have a greenhouse, yeah. have a big greenhouse to, 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 for, for myself and the helpers that are going to join us uh, along the years. Also have like solar panels so we can, you know, uh, so basically not dependent on the system, uh, as much as possible. And, uh, like, honestly, 
like-minded people are going to come join us to you know to help the animals to play with them yeah. to, to 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 live a peaceful life and uh i think uh, i think it's peace it's more peaceful than to to uh like because i had the thought like because I, i like to be free and i right now in florida it's pretty free right you know um, you don't have to do a bunch of things so i'm like maybe i should go to florida but like the the, the whole the whole uh universe which is it's fine for people but like the old universe of like you need a car you need like all these things like man i just want to be can i live like a uh, fucking hermit with my stick and my long beard like uh, that's what i'm gonna do man like you're gonna sure, be yeah yeah <laughs> cool man that's awesome yeah. the idea i love the the idea of a sanctuary dude i would i would love to come and visit oh, you there well, for guest, sure. yeah. yeah that would be sweet man that would be awesome and we could do some also some training too I'm pretty shit, yeah. but I, I'd love to train with you, man. You got like fucking crazy intensity from those videos. I'd love to get some. Imagine that I get some awesome clips up on the YouTube of me yeah. getting getting the but shit kicked out Dave. of me by you. <laughs> but, you know, Dave, they, uh, they, David. There's two. There's two Dave. There's a Dave right now that you know, and uh, there's the Dave like that fights. It's two different guys. Like, uh, I, I, it's 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 kind of fucked up, I guess. I'm I'm a I'm a weirdo, you know what I mean? <laughs> it is. I know it, it's you got professional side and you've got the, you know, your personal side, dude. That's all yeah. it is for sure. We all have it, right? But your professional side's a bit more violent than most <laughs> most other people's. But it works. Dude, that that's yeah. what you do though. You have to be. That's that's the nature of your job. Yeah. So, you know, it is what it is, man. People can't people can't fucking judge you for that. When like right at the beginning, I can't believe anyone's even thinking about judging you as a vegan because you because of your because of the there's sport nothing you're you partaking. Irrationally, there's nothing you can say and, and uh, if anything it's it's we should all vegans should know and not only vegans, anybody should know how to defend themselves because it can be any any reason there's there's always uh, you're, even animals can attack you anything like you should be able to be able to defend yourself to have that even just that confidence to to go about your life to open a business uh martial arts can give you that confidence so uh but uh <laughs> people are gonna people are gonna talk regardless but it's honestly it's been very positive people are very supportive and very happy and uh can i can be yeah it's perfect Cool, man. So we've got a few a few questions. I've got uh, one that was a come, came from a donation, which I'll put it up on the screen. It's not a question; it's just a statement. Uh, it just says, "Dave Leduc, you have a good heart. Vegan for the animals. Keep doing what you do. All the best, Bren. So thank, thank you, you so Bren. much, Bren. Awesome, man. And uh, let's have a look at the questions now. There was a good one I found. Um, it was a bit of a, a bit of a deep one. Uh, okay, yeah, this is Tofu Matt asking. Uh, question to Dave: In your opinion, do you think it's possible to end animal violence by promoting veganism as a diet? Well, if you have, you have to define first animal violence. And animal violence, uh, well, definitely. Um, if you look, there's that's a big, it's a big question, like you say. And I was I was talking with uh, with the producer of uh, of uh, Game Changers, and and he gave me a bunch of uh, of points. There's the misconception of about crop deaths, and a lot of the studies that are pro meat eaters uh, crop deaths are basically uh, flawed, and they're based on a few studies and uh, that are uh, that are uh, that are flawed. And there's actually less crop deaths that we think in uh, in in most uh, in most uh, you know uh, agriculture for for vegetables but we have to understand so we have to define animal violence animal violence for me is uh, getting a dairy cow after you know she has a lifespan of 20 years and uh, you you get her uh, completely exhausted after seven years of mass production of milk you send her to slaughterhouse she's all tired she's all negative energy bottled up you know you are what you eat you eat a, a tired and, and 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 tired and sad and scared animal but that's another question then you you slit her throat before you 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 stun her gun in the head uh, she's conscious she's bleeding out that's even in halal slaughterhouse you know i, I live in turkey here and uh, i can tell you that i don't i don't think there's one I, I don't even support halal slaughterhouse because they're killing animals. But even even the, they're saying that we, we we try to minimize animal suffering. It's full of suffering. We can see that in even Earthlings, the documentary. It's completely asinine. And even I'm not a religious guy. I'm I'm, a, I'm an atheist. But even if there was such thing as as a, as a god. <clears throat> If it would come on earth and if it's a benevolent god you would go plant-based it's uh, it's not even it's, it would be like is it, why why would you cause that suffering to a, another being so that's another question but um the point is my my religion is love you know and that nobody can say shit about that because i just want to be kind to everybody and and, and live a, a life of service and so uh we and then people I, we can go deep about that like wh but where do you get your morality well i just have it i just want to be kind because it feels good and it feels right That's another question. So, and again, if you're if you're getting immorality from religion from a book, well, fucking 
thank God that you have a book. Otherwise, you'd be a fucking danger, right? If you don't kill somebody just because there's a book, well, you're fucking psycho, man. Like, yeah. you, you just, uh, yeah, anyway, that's another, that's not. A couple uh, of thousand book. year old book as well. A, a couple yeah. of thousand year old book that justifies slavery. You're basing your morality on that yeah. shit. That, that, that is a whole, to, we could, we could do a whole fucking stream yeah. just about that. that right? You're you totally to, right. That tells you how to feed and, and how to treat a slave. That tells you, like, it's disgusting. It's full of, of, uh, of problems. But my point is, um, animal violence is, is, uh, is, uh, it's that you know like the fur and my wife until recently was uh, until uh, you know a couple of years ago was defending fur uh because she had one and uh, you, we even had an argument with a lady saying oh you know fur is actually okay da, da, da. but it was not uh now we we throw everything away we don't have my point is um so animal violence but then you can go to the other arguments of of uh, people of meat eaters and i love when they say well you're you're vegan but your 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 diet or your uh, lifestyle actually contributes to uh, to animal deaths as well i'm like first of all you're talking with the premise that you actually care also for animals which i don't think they do right so no. they say well well i'm basically what they're saying is i'm eating meat because i'm killing less animal well you're full of shit first of all you don't care about animals okay so but second of all how much blood on your hands do you have if your food, which you slaughter cruelly, like the meat, the beef, is fed throughout his life with crops, which according to their arguments has a lot of crop debts, right? Most of the land uh, used to build, to, to, to grow vegetables is used for animal feeds, first of all. So if there's any, if, if even this argument of crop debt is, is as real as they say, well, their food that they slaughter is also uh, you causing that. Plus, exactly. in that burger, they have onions, tomatoes, uh, caramelized onions on the tomatoes. Uh, what else? Pickles and uh, you know mayo, which eggs. Which so basically, all these things are animal deaths, animal violence, with the burger that was fed with animal violence throughout his life. To, and then killed at the end with another animal violence. So, so animal violence is considerably reduced, reduced with veganism. And we already have the land. Like in an utopian life, of course, there might be an ex accidental death here and there, uh, which we would, try, we would try all our life to reduce to zero. Um, but definitely, we already have the land to grow all these, these, these animal feeds and the land to, to, to enslave all these animals. If we would stop and would convert them to all uh, to plant-based, you know, uh, almond uh, almond milk and all these things, mm -hmm. we already have the land to feed so much potentially all the population in the world with with uh, with these things. So, um, yeah. and I love the, I love the arguments. Uh, it's like, well, you know, like all these feeds are not human consumable. Like, well. We have the land. We would change it for something else. We would change it to to something that humans can eat. You know, it would not. Yeah. It would not just that's, remain. You know, that's <laughs> a new argument. That's a new argument that only. Uh, they say only 14% of the of the grains or, or the vegetable foods, plant foods that, that are fed to animals are human edible. And then that seems like, oh my God, only 14%? Wow. That's only 14% is human edible? Oh, so actually, like, it's not like we could feed the world. But when you consider, consider this is 60 billion land animals, 14% of their food, it could be eaten by humans. But instead... It goes to the animals, which to produce significantly less food, which goes to rich people. So yeah. when you think about it, fourteen percent of six, of food for sixty billion animals, which are like five times the size of us, Insane. that is a lot of fucking food that yeah. could be going to to people that actually are starving to death, right? So and then we can make that, a case, and then we can make a case that we can considerably increase that fourteen percent if we would uh, we would uh, you know improve the land, make it make it for uh, exactly what we need to eat. So that's yeah, it's a flawed argument. So completely, yes, completely. I do believe, uh, Tofu Matt, I do believe that if we uh, we we all you know aim to a vegan uh, veganism as a diet well, first of all i think there's a there's a flawed uh, way to describe it because i mean okay i'm, I'm picky on words but uh, if we plant-based plant -based diet, as yeah. a diet you know as a vegan yes i think it would considerably uh, we would actually end animal violence definitely violence because i don't consider accidental death violence you know so uh, that mm -hmm. would be uh, even at, let's say in an Ethiopian yeah. world and fast forward 100 years from now the entire world is vegan and then we grow a lot of uh, stuff and then i don't know how maybe as we we, as we're harvesting some kind of fruits, there is a, a small rodent that dies. Well, unfortunately, uh, again, it, it would it, it wouldn't be uh, I wouldn't consider animal violence. It would be an accidental death, but it would be not even near the amount of suffering exactly, and, and, yeah. that we're living in our life right now.
Oh. And it would be a, it's, it is a problem. And I, I, the way I put it is, is that there is direct and indirect harm. There, there is harm that we are trying to do. And there is harm that we end up doing simply by trying to survive. Now, obviously, if, if it's the second one, do we do our best, do our absolute yeah. best to, to try and stop it. But it's inevitable that it's going to happen. But if you're doing it on purpose and you're not looking for an alternative, that's the problem. And that's what 99% of the world population is currently doing. They're doing it without any foresight, without any foresight's the wrong word, without any consciousness, without any attempt to even try and do something that could be better. That then that's what that's what veganism would can and will solve if uh, if and when when let's say when, when. it is the uh, you know the norm it will solve that problem people will consider things before doing them they'll think yeah. is this going to cause any other animals harm yes or no before doing it whereas now it's just yeah i'll just buy that oh yeah i'll just eat that oh, yeah, there's yeah. not even a consideration so yeah that's the world that we, we that's what the world we want to see yeah. for sure um, we spoke about this briefly before we went live, but uh, Stacey B is asking for your uh, Facebook and YouTube links. So you're going to start a new YouTube, right? So this could be yeah. a, a point for you to talk about that. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, I'm I'm going to build. A, oh, sorry for that. I'm going to build. <laughs> a, I'm going to have a, a full a full on a different brand uh, to to really dedicate uh, to my uh, activism to my animal activism um, so it's going to be uh, i don't know if, i don't know if i should say the name yet but we'll know we'll know i'll post it about uh, with soon uh, so but right now they can they can follow me on youtube and facebook uh, it's all king Lejuk. Uh, sorry on facebook and instagram it's king Lejuk. but on youtube it's it's uh, it's a it's a martial art uh, it's my leduc letoy martial art uh, youtube channel but we're gonna we're gonna do me and, me and david we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna now we're friends now we're gonna we're gonna work together to grow more uh, to grow more stuff. I'll, I'll keep you guys posted on on my uh, activism. But yeah, definitely, um, I'm in a I'm in a position in my life that I was able to build uh, a life for me and my wife and my family, and uh, I uh, I'm able to have a, a lot of freedom. And uh, I want to make sure that I can give back to you know to my my adoptive country in Myanmar to help them as much as I can, but also to to make sure that like I I, uh, I, I play my part. I want to be on the right part of history. To, uh, because I do believe that we're going to be able to have a, a, a vegan world or at least a, a predominantly vegan world in the years to come. Right now, I, if I'm, correct me if I'm wrong, they were like at maybe 6% of the world or 6% of the United States. I don't know. I think it's probably, honestly, Relax. it's it's the problem with these studies and these things. I don't want to bust the bubble yeah. here, but like the problem with them is that they're asking people. And they don't oh, know what it is. Right. Do you identify as a vegan? vegan? And someone's like, yeah. And it's not it's not a proper study. It's not it's not properly talking about ethics. It's talking about diet. If I were to guess, I would say like it's probably it, it would be nice um, and optimistic to say one yeah. uh, percent. But that would probably even be too optimistic for the world okay. population, to be honest. It's it's okay. it's fraction. It's okay. very very small. Um, but but the, the but the it's not so depressing because although there might only be like less than one percent of people in the whole for world sure. that are actually vegan the awareness is is way higher and people it, it's not gonna it, it's not an overnight process people are becoming more and more aware they are doing more things that are in line with the concept of, of veganism it's just that they are not uh they are not vegan yet like yeah. you for two years you were thinking about it and then bam and this is this is it's it's going to be so gradual unfortunately and also Kind of fortunately too, because if it all happened in one day, we'd we'd have a lot of problems. But yeah. also, you know, so yeah, it's not, it's it's definitely things are moving for sure. But yeah, yeah. Um, to answer your question, I don't think okay. it's at anywhere near seven percent. If I was if I was to guess, maybe I'm okay. wrong. Maybe I'm too pessimistic. Well, I don't know. Well, let's bring yeah. it to this. Let's bring it to that. And uh, yeah, okay. Well, Stacy, thank you for your, your kind words, and uh, definitely. Uh, you can count me in uh, as the a warrior in the. Uh, in, I, I like to think uh, you know as a battle, and uh, it's like a peaceful battle through uh, helping the innocent ones. Definitely. Do you do you have time for a few more questions? I don't know yeah, what, what you're running on. Are you cool? Yeah, sweet. So well, it's, it's sundown here in Turkey, so it's perfect. Okay, cool. Um, so someone's asking. This is a great question about uh your how about a black and white fighting outfit as a symbol of your for your support of ending the cruelty against animals now that, i don't know about black and white but yeah that's a pretty that's a pretty cool idea like it, you know something some that you fight in like the shorts are you allowed to have messages yeah. on them that could be pretty yeah, cool absolutely. Right? You, uh, yeah, yeah just right now it's it's up in the air about like uh but when i have a fight because right now everything is restrictions and and uh yeah but definitely uh that's a good, I, didn't, I didn't think about that i, I will do uh, for my next fight I will do something uh, 
to to spread awareness for this 100 percent 100 percent let's uh, let's bring some on that david uh, on what would be the best uh, way to raise awareness but uh, thank you gorik uh, matthews let's do let's uh, that's a great idea yeah that's i think so idea. too i think it's pretty yeah. awesome yeah something i think like i that. can go even more adam i can i think i can get i can go even more uh because I, i don't give a fuck like can be something very shocking something like as much as like uh uh You know, like for me, when I when I see these these uh, these like stuff on the side of on the side of bus uh, stops or like uh, like it's very shocking, and the, the, sometimes the speech is 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 very shocking, um, and it kind of wakes more people up than if you just so maybe something as like even like a you know like uh, Lady Gaga did with a bunch of like uh, dead uh, like really so like, look that's the cruelty we're living in. So I'll think about something. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe a yeah, maybe yeah. a big message in my back. I don't know. It was horrible that she uh, that w when she did that, wasn't it? it was, was that real? I think it was fake. No, it was the, the fake meat, meat thing, the meat, the meat dress. I thought that was real that she did that. I uh, maybe was... she was. But my point is, like, uh, I was thinking something like to, to to show the slaughter, the the slaughter of animals. I don't know. I'll I'll think about something. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, I get what you're saying. Like some kind of images or something. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm I'm trying to. I, I I've lost track of the comments here, but uh, <laughs> yeah, I, have, <laughs> I, think... I have some too. You have some. Uh, oh, you have some questions. Do you? Yeah. Yeah, go ahead then, man. I'm I'm trying to look so here. I just one just... of them was uh, which uh, who who inspired you to who influenced you to uh, to change? Well, like I touched base with Dave uh, with David. It was initially with um, with uh, Game Changers, and then um, after that, I continued because again, people didn't understand. It's not it's not a you might you might go plant based and vegan, but you still need. You need some guidance. You need some help. You need a circle of people. It's way easier to do it with somebody. Um, I remember, like it's, it's like stopping smoking or stopping drinking. I remember I wanted to stop drinking, but then all your friends are coaxing you out. Oh, come on, come on! And then they order, you know, for food they would order a pizza. Well, you need to have some help. So, for example, my wife and I, we did it together, and we never budge. We never, uh, we never uh, turned away from it. When we turned, we turned. And uh, um, so, my point is. Uh, We, we continue watching stuff to educate yourself. Like it's not like, okay, boom, you watch a documentary, you're vegan and that's it. You don't need to do anything. It takes resilience. It takes uh, dedication because you, you know, uh, so I watched uh, Forks Over Knife, which was a, a very, uh, very, one of my favorite ones. It's not as exciting in a way. It's not as like uh, hipster, like game changers, but it's, it's like you, you have doctors, you have uh, cardiologists, they take, they take uh, a, um, a fire department, That isn't completely you know, overweight, unhealthy. They go, they go plant based for for a while, and then they, their cholesterol drop. They go very, they go like they change their life basically. They were on, a, they were, were going to get a heart attack. So uh, mm. forks over knife, I highly recommend it. Um, and obviously, what the health, which I think is instrumental, what the health to to realize that it's not just okay. It's not as easy as just doing a switch. It's to realize how you're being lied to. Not only for food, but for everything. Like the the, the elite of the world, or or um, they don't give a fuck about YouTube. I'm sorry to make a blow it. It's all about money. You have to fight the money trail. It goes as deep as big pharma. Uh, you know, like and I, I'm very open about this. It's not healthy. It's not, sorry. It's not lucrative to get David and I both. You know, Dave and Dave. <laughs> it's not healthy. It's not lucrative to have both of us healthy. It's better to keep us just a little bit sick, right? There's no money in us dead, and there's no money in us healthy. So to keep us in the middle, well, we're gonna have potentially blue pills when we're uh, impotent, when we're 70. We're gonna have uh, blood thinning uh, because we're you know we're you know, and then we're gonna have uh, aspirins and because we have headaches, and then we have back pains. So there's 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 a lot of money in in, in in having people a bit unhealthy, and I strongly believe everything points in that direction that that uh, the The, the big pharma plays a role in in and wanted the people to not stop eating meat because first of all they feed these animals with meds first of all supplements but not only that but once you have a meat eating society you get cardiovascular issues you get a lot of problems and then when you have these problems who comes in with a solution big pharma whatever so um, exactly. what the health uh, very very understand very interesting so so that's what helped me change and uh after that is just watching studies uh reading studies and and uh yeah uh, did you find another question yeah well, i've got a uh, another donation came in and this is a good okay. one this is from someone paradigm shift is the user i'd like to echo dave saying that vegans who want to do street activism should train jiu-jitsu to learn to defend yourself the confidence will change your life and the skills yeah. might even save your life 
I love I love that. Uh, I don't know who said that, but I, I really I really like that. I think there's a the, maybe the misconception and of of veganism being you know some people I don't know where it comes from, but like I guess frail and weaker. Maybe because at first there was a, a majority of, of vegans like that because mm. potentially these these guys and girls were more compassionate. There were more. They were. They, they were. It used to be like that. Maybe they were more close to their uh, natural human emotions. So they were. They were not focusing on their uh, appearance. They were not focusing on their on their you know life and so They were just you know they were very concerned about animals, which I highly applaud. Um, but now we're entering a, a world of like we we have different kinds of people, like Dave says, people that swear, people that are fighters, people that are yeah. Olympians. So. Um, I, I personally, you know, a lot of vegans don't are against guns. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't think I, I don't see anything wrong uh, for being having one in my house to protect myself in case of a a, bur a burglary or, or something. You know, uh, something happens to me. So, but some people are against completely gun ban. Like, okay, cool. But the point is, we should be able to 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 um, to defend ourselves. And uh, we, I highly, highly agree with that statement that uh, mm. we should have a basic understanding of self defense. We've seen that with Joey Carbstrong the other day. He was, uh, it, it didn't get physical, but one guy actually, uh, you know, slapped his food on on his desk. Uh, he was, he was talking about dolphin meat. So, like, yeah. this guy could have been violent. This guy could have attacked Joey. So, and I know I, I really like Joey because he's like, I don't give a fuck. I'm not afraid of him. He, he, he didn't look afraid at all. And that's great. Uh, but some might, so, guys, guys. If you can go to a Litwe or you know uh, Jujitsu, do something, uh, Krav Maga, sell, you know something like that to uh, to feel confident. Because unfortunately, we're not. It's not a vegan world. And my wife asked me that question. Maybe you can jump in, Dave. Yeah. Do you think? Do you think that if we go into a fully vegan world, vegan means that we have the vegan philosophy, right? The vegan. The, do you think that mm -hmm. we would have like a, a peaceful world? That's an interesting question. That would mean that vegans are all peaceful, right? Um, we, I don't we, think it. I don't think it would be a peaceful world. No, I we think we still. Uh, or take no, people, no. I think. I think like. Okay, in a reduce? vegan world, I think in a vegan world, I, I see a vegan world the same way as I see a. a, a, a mean, an, um, like an anti-racist world or an anti-sexist world, and that. We will never, ever, and I mean this, in the, the, you know, this pisses people off again. I've been in trouble for saying this. We're never going to eradicate racism. We're never going to eradicate sexism. We're never going to eradicate speciesism. There will always be disgusting pieces of shit in the, in the planet, right? There will always, they'll always be here and we can, we're never going to get rid of them. All we can do is, ch is ch when we see them, challenge them uh, publicly and, yeah. and, and show why their ideas are bad. Don't, don't hide them. Don't, don't you know, put them in jail, don't they, unless they're actually, you know, causing physical harm. Yeah. I mean, you suppose the best thing to do is to take their ideas in the public and destroy them and make mm -hmm. them look ridiculous, which is not difficult to do to a racist, sexist, or even a speciesist, right? It's easy. Yeah. And you'll, you'll see this, the more you debate veganism, you'll see how easy it is to just completely wipe the floor with someone's logic and make them look like an idiot. And that's how you convince other people too. But they'll look at them and say, that person is full of shit. Like I'm not even vegan, but I don't agree with that guy. And this is what helps them to start to become vegan. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, so my point is, is that no, I think in a vegan world, we're still going to have shit people. We're still going to have violent people. We're still going to have robberies and people being, but I, I would say it's probably going to be significantly less. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, good point. Be, which yeah. is, which is what we're aiming for, right? A better world. Yeah, exactly. It's better than what we have, right? It's yeah. not perfect, but it's better than what we have. And that, that's the takeaway from and it. And what's wrong? I don't understand why Why not trying to improve, right? Why not trying exactly. to improve? Exactly. Exactly. There's nothing wrong with that. We've got a funny comment. And I think I think after that, I think we can wrap up. I don't see any questions, but uh, Ray Sleever said, uh, one of these Davids is my favorite, but I'm not telling them which one. They'll go crazy and have a jealous fight trying to figure out which of them it is. <laughs> Well, thank you. I know you're talking about me, so thank you. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Nice. I don't know about That's a jealous weird. fight, though. I think I think of all the people to have a jealous fight with, it's definitely not going to be you, mate. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> if I could pick someone, <laughs> it's not going to be, uh, you know, the championship Lithway fighter. It's yeah. not going to be that one, yeah. Um, well, David, right. it, was a, it was a pleasure to, to be on your show, man. Keep, your, your show is amazing. The quality is... Uh, is really impeccable like the, the branding your 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 logo is fucking badass i love it thanks uh, man and, and honestly just your work is uh 
you know, I think I think I, I saw you were like a vegan since '09, so that's an amazing amount of time. And uh, you probably like me, you feel like I want to. You would have wanted to do it even earlier, but like this is a. Uh, is amazing and um, you, you 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 inspired a lot of people and you're gonna it's just the beginning i think we're, we're uh you see like i'm joining other people are gonna join we're, we're basically building this this uh this love army this this kindness army around the world there's no uh there's no ego there's no uh you know like i'm gonna have a podcast too like we're try all trying to help each other and uh that's that's the beauty of this i think uh like you said we're trying to, we're trying to have a, a to build the, the best world we can be. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it was it was really cool to, to chat with you. you. You're an incredibly smart guy. And uh, I, I got some nice, uh, some nice tips from you for uh, to, to how to move on as in my uh, in my activism as a, uh, in the future. Awesome, man. I look forward to seeing what you're going to do. I really do. And, and, and you can always reach out to me if, if I've been doing this for a while now. So if you've ever got anything you come up against, just drop me a message and I'll let you know. How, I'll, how I'll, I'll pick you, know, you up on that because I think you've seen, you've seen a lot of stuff so far. So I'll pick, I'll yeah, pick man. you up on that. For sure. I only hope the next podcast you do, I hope you go on Joe Rogan again, man, because I would love to see you dropping these fucking bombs <laughs> on Joe Rogan to like a million yeah, people. Be, oh, uh, my. Be interesting. That but, would be uh, incredible. The way, the way it's going, man, I feel like uh, I might just... Uh, live an old man in Turkey here, like uh, go as a hermit, and whoever loves uh, the sanctuary is going to come join me in the sanctuary. Uh, you know, we're going to have like acres and acres of land. I, I really am a bit in a, a rebellion uh, of the world, so yeah. I don't, I don't have no, I, I don't want to go uh, to LA. I don't want to go back to a, a lot of places uh, uh, unless it's for like a, a seminar for either Litway or for my uh, activism. But uh, um, yeah. So, so uh, I, I'm in, a, and like, it's funny because I do have a school, uh, like an affiliate school in LA, right? I have an affiliate school in Texas as well, where uh, Joe Rogan podcast is. Um, I think James uh, James did a, an amazing uh, uh, job when he went on the debate, the, 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 right? Yeah. Uh, that was an amazing job. I, I, I highly doubt, I because I, he did like 10,000s of hours of studying of, you know, he knew yeah. fucking things. I'm not there yet. Um, I'm more like, uh, as a, like for me, I because I know my philosophy, and you cannot debate the philosophy. It's 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 impregnable. Like I, I should have been a lawyer. I know my that I know. Then uh, if you want to go into details of medical and nutrition, that's another story. Uh, sure. But my point is, uh, yeah, I'm uh, I'm in a in an interesting position because like through fighting, I'm talking to the veganism, which is a very interesting um, parallel universe, uh, and I, mm -hmm. I enjoy it. So uh, I'm going to continue promoting the most brutal sport in the world, Con conscious, conscious, uh, not consciously, uh, consenting, co consenting brutal sport in the world, right? And yeah. uh, while, while promoting uh, a better way of life and a more peaceful way of life. So, uh, yeah, yes, yeah. Uh, let's see let's see where the, the world brings me, but, like, to be honest, uh, I, I, I don't I honestly I don't give a fuck anymore. Like I'm I'm unapologetic. I'm gonna I'm calling out bullshit when I see it. Um, I don't give a shit about anything. So I, you understand where I'm coming from? Like it's kind of yeah yeah. Of, you don't give a shit anymore. You're like I like your shirt. Like anti me flake social club. Like fuck you love me or you don't. Unfollow me. Get like get out of it. Like I'm gonna. I, I think life is too short to be to be preoccupied. Who cares about you? Who doesn't care? Because if you go, David, if you go in, a, if people watching this at home. If you go in the hospital tomorrow, how many people are actually going to go see you there? Right, you're on your dead bed. How many people are going to come? People are way too preoccupied of who, how much people care about them, and all. It's all fugazi. It's all bullshit. At the end of the day, they all have a family. They all have friendship. You're nobody cares. So do what's best for you. Do do what's what's what you know is right. Uh, and I know what's what, what I want. I know what I want. So I'm going to do. I'm going to do uh, uh, what's what's good for us. So uh, yeah, <laughs> let's, awesome, let's, bro. let's make Fucking, this is the beginning of, of something something big, man. This is something something great. Uh, yeah. Let's bring that number to one percent to ten percent. <laughs> Definitely, man. Before you go, there's one more thing I totally forgot to mention. You just mentioned the T-shirt. Somebody asked a question on Instagram. They said, "How does it feel to punch non-vegan meat flakes in the face and call it a job?" <laughs> well, <laughs> I totally uh, forgot. That was a great question. <laughs> it's a pretty good one. <laughs> I love I love the I love the name. Well, it's, uh, yeah, yeah. But well, yeah, no, you don't I have to answer that if you don't want. Anybody, right? <laughs> I don't wish for it on anybody. Uh, it's uh, yeah, man. Yeah, 
it's it's more uh, for me it's more ide- ideological fight right so let's uh, sure, sure. let's keep let's keep it that way no yeah. no totally yeah yeah totally man totally no worries um um yeah thanks so much for coming on man i'll actually if you want one of these dude i'll send you one out if you we yeah. can I'll, to put in the messages and you can represent the anti the anti meat flake social club with the with the team we've got a few out there right, right now but um yeah who knows we could make a proper it, thing yeah, with it. I'll yeah send it to Turkey. I'll, I'll wear it here awesome bro sounds good cool thanks so much buddy um, everyone's really enjoyed this uh, everyone in the chat has uh, been really engaging you've had loads of really good feedbacks and, and yeah. people really inspired so thank you so much thank you everybody who has been watching and you can you can check out dave's uh, as we said instagram it's a, it's his name in fact actually for people who uh, haven't caught your name yet maybe they didn't, yeah. didn't hear it all the way through there there are the names now on the screen it's just yeah. that uh, king leduc and it's on instagram facebook and on youtube it's leduc lithway right Leduc-Lithway, yeah. Leduc-Lithway. and you know what i'll, I'll drop the scoop uh, at the end if somebody is watching it until the end so the name of of uh the name we're gonna do for our like uh, our like uh tribe or like uh, uh my activism it's gonna be v tribe vegan tribe so uh so it's gonna be the vegan tribe and uh everybody everybody that's vegan is part of it so uh uh we're gonna we're basically gonna support the david rams uh uh team so vegan tribe it is so if somebody watched it until the end now you know <laughs> now we know looking forward right. to it man all right, all right. dude thanks Take so care, much you too, man. bye